Hello, everybody. We are back with following Lucha. We are the official lore keepers of Lucha Underground. I am JC. I am joined, as always, by... Yo, it's the, it's the water, homie. The the water consumer. I Hell like yeah. water. Yeah. That's how he's known. Steven. Hell yeah. You, you see me on the streets, and you think to yourself, man, that's the guy who likes water. You know, like Hell that guy yeah. right there... He loves drinking water. If you ever see I the water, water homie Steven, you know, strolling down the street, feel free to peg him with a full bottle of water. Mm -hmm. He loves that shit. A hydro homo? That's what they call me. Whoa, that's awesome. Well, mm -hmm. Steven, we are here to recap an episode of Lucha Underground. We are here yes. to talk about what else happened in the world of wrestling during that episode of Lucha Underground. And then we talk about some shit ass current events. But remember, we are not. A wrestling podcast dude speaking of wrestling podcast right okay right i was watching this video on youtube you like you know like those like youtube videos about like kids shows like on nickelodeon or disney right they you get really like, popular okay it, like, sure. banks on, like nostalgia there's this one guy who watched the 2023 kids choice awards right no and in his way. recap he was like and then these three random guys came up from the crowd and then like i don't know why kids would know these guys and then this woman popped up and, like i don't know who she is and apparently they're wwe fighters like what Hell what yeah. kid is watching monday night raw like the kids choice awards are so like it. uncultured or un like <laughs> i don't know it's the most like out of touch thing apparently well I, if I you thought. think about it steven if you think about the pyramid uh you know like the hierarchy of media it's very like firmly established pro wrestling is there at the very bottom yeah but like children um, love pro wrestling you know well i'm just it. saying the nick teen choice awards are at the pinnacle of the, that period it's thing, not you know? a teen's choice award, it's a kid's choice awards sorry the kids choice it's, awards it's are at children. the pinnacle it's even above the teen yeah. ones um but like it's like what kid is gonna watch monday night raw like, a lot of children watch any Monday kids Night sophisticated Raw. enough to be watching the kids awards where the slime shit happens they're not watching yeah. wrestling they're co too cool for you that think TV i mean age. no i mean the, the new no. day really popular children okay yeah yeah okay. becky lynch also popular with the children can you just tell me who the fuck's like who who was at the kids choice awards um there was this one guy from high school musical the musical no i mean the wrestlers dumbass yeah, the new what? day and Becky Lynch. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. And well, Bianca. You, it just felt like a non sequitur when you said the new day are popular with kids. Or it's like, okay, yeah, that's why I, I said guess. them. Well, foreshadowing. I, that would have made know? so much more sense like four years ago. Not like no, this is pretty now. popular. I think, right? Not really. I mean, I guess Biggie not on TV because like, on TV. Well, to be fair, two thirds of the group is like injured right now. Yeah, like what the like, fuck? What is, Xavier, what is Xavier Woods gonna do by himself? You know, I don't play know, games. Man. I don't fucking know. Why not get Bianca know. there? Get Bianca and the cuties back out there. She okay? was there. Bianca was there. <laughs> Hell yeah, she was. Bianca's okay. also like really popular with like children too. Like Bianca. makes sense. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, well Steven. The most Anyways. popular program on television for children, at least back when it was on the air, was obviously mm -hmm. Lucha Underground. Air. Obviously. On the El Rey Network every like Wednesday or Tuesday. And today, we are going to be talking about Season 2, Episode 13. It is called Monster Meets Monster. Can I April make a 20th. disclaimer mm -hmm. first before we start discussing this episode? I actually, like, uh, I, I turned on our, our um, Lucha Underground hosting site, right? That oh, hosts all the videos yeah. for it. Um, and I accidentally watched the wrong episode at the beginning until I realized, like, halfway through, I was watching the wrong episode. Because... Yo. Um, because I go by, like, what we watched last time, and then go over the episode after that, right? I don't know what episode's uh -huh. gonna come up next. So I saw, like, the word three in the last title. I believe it was Three's a Crowd? Three's a Crowd and was the last and episode. And I end up watching one that was called, like, Three something. Three's a dead... Three's a... Three's a I don't know what it was called. Life After uh -huh. Three's or something? I don't Devil's remember. Triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was some three. So I, I ended up watching the wrong episode. I watched Life After Death by accident for like 20 minutes before uh -huh. I realized, oh, wait, I saw this already. Well, it is that really a, a shoot 20 minutes or a 1.75 like speed a legit, 20 minutes? A 1.75 speed 25 minutes. So but, even longer in 25 minutes then. Yeah. It was closer to like the whole episode. Yeah, but. Oh, fuck. Right? I was like, I was like, it had like the intro of like Ray Phoenix making it with Katrina. Why well, it held the title, right? I was like, oh, I don't remember this storyline happening. I guess I guess this happened. Wait, is that the last old week. episode? 
Yeah, it was the open episode, yeah. You didn't remember watching it from before? N no, it was a while ago. Because I was, I was like, worried... Why is Ray Phoenix holding the title again? You know? I was really worried that you... you that you watched, like, ahead. But no, this happened season no. one no, or something. this is an old shit. episode. No, this uh -huh. is season two. Was Phoenix champ in season two? He was the... What's it called? The regular belt with the, the fucking... What's the one? The, the gift the of seven the gods. medallions. Yeah, that mm -hmm. one. Okay, okay, okay. So a very early episode. What the fuck, Steven? I um, forget what episode it was called. Let me so did you, a, did you actually watch Monster Meets Monster? Oh, yeah. I've watched Monster Meets Monster. Yeah. When I, mean, I realized like 20 minutes since like, oh, shit, this is the wrong episode. Huh? Very good. Very good. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad That's you were able to catch up. I'm so glad you didn't get spoiled on anything. Uh, but huh? Steven, this episode starts out in Dario Cueto's office, like so many episodes do. And this time, it's that man you were just talking about. It's the former Get to the Gods champion, Ray Phoenix. He's there. And Dario's like, yo, Phoenix, you're pretty lucky to have survived my brother, Matanza. And now, I want to give you an opportunity. A unique opportunity. In wow. the trio's tournament. Because, you know, Good opportunity. We're, we're trying to determine <laughs> the number one contenders. wrestling booking, dude. Hell, okay, you yeah. lose your main event spot, and then you become what? Part of a stable, thrown together tag team. Absolutely. Come on. But then the question becomes, Steven, who, who is going to be Ray, Mis Ray, not Ray Mysterio, Ray Phoenix's t trio's partners? And then the camera does a dramatic pan across Dario's office, and <laughs> he then he does not know dr why these two guys are here. He's like, yeah. who are these two guys? Uh, well, well, they're they're for later, Phoenix. So you'll talk to them later. You know, they, they well, don't matter yeah, in this conversation. Drago and Aerostar are just sitting in chairs next to a standing Ray Phoenix. It's really awkward. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just strange. <laughs> um, maybe they're in the maybe this where they chill. You know, in Dario's office. It's like those kids at lunch who don't have friends, so they go like the teachers like classrooms and just oh, you think they're just hanging out with dario that's yeah. cool you know what man. i mean right those kids I in like do. the classrooms they're always there they don't i would go to the art classroom much. every day for lunch i'd do my homework, do homework? and work on some art hell yeah pretty pog dude yeah i just did my i just did my calculus homework and read comics in the library oh it's pretty dope I'm sorry about that i apologize um but steven uh you, you would then think oh shit ray phoenix is gonna team up with drago and aerostar how familiar these three were a team last year in the trios tournament um and but the, but then but <laughs> then dario deja vu yeah and if you remember too back to last year's trios tournament arrow star and drago they didn't get along very well okay because they were like in the midst of their feud so but now they're indifferent yeah well no they're friends now remember they beat up jack evans and pj black together you know? Now they're acquaintances. Hell yeah, they are. They're saving the world or some shit. I don't really know what's going on there. Uh, but but then Dario's like, no, just kidding, guys. These are not your partners. <laughs> they really Phoenix. did give Aerostar, like, the main event, like, gimmick for, like, no reason. Hell yeah, they did, you know? Of him, like, saving the universe from destruction or something. Like, from the why gods. shouldn't that have gone to Ray Phoenix? Wouldn't that have made, like, just a lot more sense? Like, having, like, reincarnate, right? Like, back then. Like, having, like, a... Like, exactly! A, what's it called? Uh, what's, what's it called? Uh, a flashback, right? To like an old version of Ray Phoenix with like a mustache and a beard or something, or like a cowboy Fuck, hat. Yeah. Fuck like, yeah. Yeehaw! I'm Western Ray Phoenix. Mm -hmm. What up? King Quer and now. then have him like die or something, and then go oh, back to like shit. medieval time Ray Phoenix. He has like knight in armors and stuff. Like yo. Oh my god. I'm, I'm Sir Phoenix now. And have mm -hmm. him get killed by a, a dragon or something. But every time he's just reincarnated yeah. with the same goal yeah. of saving the world from destruction. I love mm -hmm. it, Steven. I want I... a caveman phoenix where he discovers fire. Whoa. That's what I want. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. So, Steven, uh, Dario's like, just kidding. These guys are not your partners. We're not doing that same shit again. Instead, your partners are PJ Black and Jack Evans. And you're fighting the disciples of, of, of death. Why are so. these two guys here, you might ask? You know, why, why are Aerostar, the Mr. Space Traveling, Time Traveling Wizard Man, why is he with the dragon dude? Well, I thought we already why established they it. They're eating lunch with Dario. Oh. Yeah, out of their <laughs> lunch chilling his homie. He's mm -hmm. politicking their way. Sean Michael it. Ooh, how, you think Sean ate his lunch with Vince? Thoughts? Maybe Comments? more than split lunch, you know? Maybe. You think they tag teen girls together, Damien Priest style? Mm-hmm. Eiffel okay. Tower, Matt Riddle, Damien Priest. They did what to Matt Riddle? Shawn Michaels and Vince McMahon? Oh my god. <laughs> Eiffel Towering him, you know? That's crazy. That's oh my goodness. Gimmick. 
Well, yeah, I don't know. I can't speak on the nature of Dario, Aerostar, and Drago's relationship, but I knew, know, do know that Dario's like, okay, you two in the chairs, you guys are going to fight each other tonight now that you're getting along. You're going to prove if you're actually friends because you're going to fight for one of my ancient Aztec medallions. So just some <laughs> cruel manipulation from They're Dario. Like one week of friendship, right? I know. It's like, all right, let's test it out now, boys. All right. Uh-huh. Just mental warfare with these poor, poor people. Mental Steven. abuse of these Absolutely. men who don't even talk properly. It's kind of fucked up, too, because it's not like Dario just, like, mentally abusing, like, some dumb people off the street. He's mentally abusing a man who's been reincarnated a whole bunch, a man who has, like, lived throughout time and traveled space, and also a dragon person. Like, these are really, you like, think, tough people. Doesn't Drago, like, in canon get, like, what's it called? Like, harassed for being a minority of a dragon dude? Like, isn't that canon? Well, Jack Evans makes fun of him for it. He's like, yeah, fuck you. You're a dragon. So. Well, I thought, like, most of the gimmicks were, you're not real. Fuck you. Aw, that's so mean. And then Drago's like, what? I'm not real. I'm a dragon man. What? That's, that's so, so sad. sad. Oh, well, Steven, we're cutting right away to that ancient Aztec medallion match between Drago and Aerostar. And we start off things hot with Vampiro predicting that Aerostar is gonna lose. <laughs> um, And then Matt that Stryker... Is there like, to build back up wise, the competitors? Right? I mean, but yeah, wise, he did sucks. lose like fucking three matches or five. Yeah, but your job as a commentator is not to shit on the the wrestlers, okay? No, Michael Cole, 2010. Oh, All right, shit. No, you're right. He JBL, kind of real life JBL, paved the way. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. But don't worry, Matt Striker is there to build them back up, and he says, um, "Drago's had a really shit year so far in Lucha Underground. Hopefully, that changes." It's all um, years for him. Yeah, so... Is he more Dolph Ziggler than, like, Werno? Ooh. Nah, because Drago is pretty cool. You know, he has a cool voice. Design. Yeah. yeah. Arnold. Yeah. So, Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. It's kind of cool. Uh, the, the gimmick here is that these two competitors know each other so well, and the reason for that is because we watched them fight each other ten times already last season, mm -hmm. so... Pretty makes cool. Sense. Makes sense. Love that best of ten. Mm-hmm. And despite them being friends, Steven, at one point during this match, uh, Drago refuses to shake the hand of Aerostar and cheap shots him, which is he out of character. Ring of Honor, bitch. Damn. Like blows him. That's what he said. He got it's on the dope. mic and started shooting on Ring of Honor for some reason in 2016. <laughs> They're um, dead already. Come on. What are they, who do they have now? Roderick Strong? Like, what? No, bro. They had Cody and the Young Bucks. They were killing. Cody? This was actually, like, close to their peak, you know? Oh. Um, when was Ring of Honor peak? I thought it was like 2004 when they peaked. No, Ring of Honor peak is 2017, selling out Madison Square Garden. And then oh, the reason they sold out yeah. wasn't even there at the show. So, yeah, you know, yeah, I guess you're right. Quality of wrestling, they probably peaked like back then. Joe and what's his face? Ko Kobashi? I think that's his name. Guys, I'm out Banana of the wrestling war. I'm sorry. Yeah, something like that. Oh. Um, so, Vampiro says at one point, when you're going after the medallion, you have to accept the fact that you may die. <laughs> That's a verbatim you might quote. You die, bro. <laughs> That's not me exaggerating. That's what he said. Like straight up. Um, I want to do like a dub of this. Like, actually, like you know, like they have like parody dubs where it's like actual dialogue. Uh -huh. It's like a joke, I guess. It'd be like, you might die. And then have like a little caption that says actual dialogue from this show. It'd be so funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Remember abridging? Do you ever watch like YouTube abridged shows back then? Like Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged, like Dragon Ball abridged? Is that like the stuff that Brock Baker did? Like Brock's dubs? Like yeah, for the kinda. Oscars and everything? Okay. Basically, yeah, yeah. Like they kind of just dub over shows and whatnot. Make it yeah, funnier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Miss yeah. those days, man. Sure. Simple days. I guess we can do that. Now you can't sure. do it because of copyright reasons. God damn it. Fortunate. This sucks ass. Um, Miss well, those days. Uh, Matt Stryker at this point confirms something that extends beyond just this match, beyond the seven ancient Aztec medallions. He confirms something that really applies to the entire lore of Lucha Underground in this match. Uh, and that is the fact that Dario confirmed 100% does not pay his wrestlers when they're injured. Okay? Um, no workers comp. You ain't contracted. Mm -hmm. Okay? You mm -hmm. ain't unionized. Who do you it think comes you are? up. The WGA? Yeah. The losers. Yeah, shut the fuck you up, are? okay? You're working in Boyle Heights in a warehouse. Who the fuck you think you are? <laughs> um, you think you so, deserve workers comp? What? Yeah. Preposterous. Yeah, you're getting booked, okay? Calm down. You're getting exposure, dude. Yeah, okay? man. And a hot dog. Fuck. Absolutely. So, Matt Stryker confirms this because at one point, like, 
Drago and Aerostar are like really fucking each other up. And Matt's like, oh man, I hope one of these guys gets injured. Uh, but also I hope they don't because that'll take food off their table and in their family's table. So Again, it's like, they're not, oh. they can't like work outside the company during this time if they're injured too. Kind of just fucked, you know? Yeah, a little fucked. A little fuck. Yeah. Uh, Arrow starts with winning the match, by the way, with a code breaker and a splash. Uh, much to Vampiro's chagrin, I guess. He, need, he, and, he really needed that win, that yeah. Arrow Star. He could have done it, like, what, weeks ago? Become, like, champion by now? Was it Lucha Champion, I think? Right? Was that what the title shot was I think he did, for? right? He fought Milford or some shit? I don't really remember. The lore is hard yeah. to keep track of, despite us being the lore keepers. It could have been Arrow man. What I do learn... Lucha Underground right now, if he did maybe. this. Maybe. Weeks ago, so. the best of 10 match. What I do learn, Steven, from this match and from Aerostar's win is that he has one of the worst theme songs in Lucha Underground, okay? Like, oh, I think noticeably the theme songs that. in Lucha kind of suck, to be honest. They're kind of I really, I don't think they suck. It's just, like, they're not a focal point of the show, right? Like, right. like no like, one has, like, an Puma iconic is, song. It's, like, weird, Pentel. you know? Puma's, like... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I think... Dario has the best theme song just because of the hook in the beginning. That's really it. I thought you know? it was just that little like horn. I didn't even know there was a real song. Um, Maybe there is a real song. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. But no, my favorite by far is the Pentagon Junior one, right? Where it's like, bow, bow, bow. I think that's. I mean, sick. there's Cage where he has like the WWE like um catchphrase oh, thing in the beginning. You know? Down. Absolutely. Well, no, now it's like they say their name before their theme song starts. I'm now, Seth WWE. freaking Rollins. <laughs> they might Hell do yeah. that like ah, ha, 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 Seth Rollins <laughs> Hell yeah that'd be sick as fuck They should do it for like um Who's that one wrestler who got injured recently? Dakota Kai Just have her Aww. theme song be I'm Dakota Kai Dakota's and injured? Her, her theme Yeah Aw That's so sad That's so so sad Um well Steven Next up We cut to backstage Or maybe to to his home it, it's Johnny Mundo and he's working out, punching a bunch of like pegs and triangles. It's nice. weird. Um, and then Taya walks in, you know, his girl, his valet, his. I didn't realize they were friend. dating on the show. Yeah. To be honest well, you. Matt Stryker has kept making hints about it. He's like, well, they have more than a working relationship, if you know what I, I mean. They were like just hooking up because she was hot and he was hot. That's what I thought. I mean, they could be. Or maybe they've just recently made but that. But then, like, he's like, yo, babe, it. what up? And then Johnny's like, yo, what up, girl? You wouldn't crazy. call your your hookup babe, Steven? Babe. That's babe. fucked up, man. Damn. Um, so Taya just starts hitting on him. You're right. Uh, and then Johnny's like, you know, Taya, I'm not just a man. I'm the man. A machine. Oh. That, well, it kind of sounded like that. Uh, and then Taya is like, yo, Johnny, you know how we talked about me going to Dario and demanding that he just give you an ancient Aztec medallion? I, I, I did that. I went to Dario. Uh, and then she's you like, just well, gave yeah. it to us. It was pretty sick. Like, no, it's what? not what happened. It's not oh. what happened. Uh, she says, uh, he instead he, he's putting you in a match for it. Um, and Johnny's like, oh, he's making me earn it. What's new? But but I, that's okay. I can I can earn my ancient Aztec medallion. And then Ty is you know, like, Dara well, just really hates rich privileged kids. You know, absolutely, absolutely. Everything has to be earned. Oh my God! Speaking of earned, I was watching Shark Tank earlier. This week, Can I right? just say who his opponent is before I forget? No. He's gonna fight the Cage. Shark Tank shit's important, okay? Okay, okay. You've seen Shark Tank, right? Yeah, everyone has fucking so there's seen this, Shark there, Tank. There was this one chick who made like this, like this spread of like dates, right? And she's like, I'm, like I'm fruit? making this thing. Yeah, like the fruit dates, right? Because they're okay. like really healthy, super fruit. She's like, I'm gonna have good. this one a date. I want 100k, and 30% can be your stock or whatever. What? Our ownership of the company. And then Barbara, the millionaire, billionaire. She has said, no money. Yeah. He's like, okay, what school did you go to, girl? And the girl's like, I went to NYU. Hell like, okay. yeah. How much have you sold so far? I sold 30K in dates. And she's like, 30K in profit in New York City? How are you affording that? All right. How, how the fuck are you affording that, you piece of shit? And the girl's like, my dad's helping pay off for it. Oh. And then Barbara's like, Listen here, you fucking bitch. All right, I hate privileged kids who come to this show asking for money because I want somebody who's starving and their business is their last resort. Okay, uh -huh. all right. People like you, when their when their plan fails, 
they have their daddy to go back to. I want somebody who fails and that's it for them. I am backing away right now. Yo, honestly, it's kind and, of and then, and then Mark Cuban's like, are you fucking stupid? Like, do you want your kids to fucking... Can your kids not succeed because of you? Like, what? Like, are you not well, allowed I to help your kids just saying. I think she's just saying that you're you're more likely to want to succeed if you don't have like. A, I mean, know, the company's like. A, she, I mean, the girl's like a two million dollar wet um, net worth now, from her date company. So, I mean, that's good. You know, that's, that's pretty sick. But you know, yeah. Mark Cuban's doing a little bit better than that. I mean, Mark Cuban know? was the one who backed her. So. Oh shit! Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I that's that was really cool funny. and all. But I started yeah, crying. The girl started crying. Like, oh, actually, I am the one who did all the work for this. I I made my website myself. I go to all the markets by myself. I make the whole thing in my my own kitchen. That's so pretty sad. funny. Pretty sick. Well, who's paying for that kitchen, Stephen? Okay. Mark Cuban now, I guess. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Um. So, Stephen. Anyways. Uh, back Taya to the real has, show. Ex exactly. Taya has secured the entitled. Um, spoiled Nepo baby, Johnny Mundo. Uh, she has secured him a match against Brian Is Cage. Is he a Nepo for... baby? Is that canon? I don't, I don't think so. I think he's just handsome. Is that canon for you WWE? Know? Do they care if people are Nepo babies in WWE? I mean, yeah. Or is story just homeless? Second gen. You know, like indie Charlotte wrestler. Flair was a big story that she was... Well, Cody Rhodes' gimmick like it was poor growing up, wasn't it? No. Like now. It was dusty. Isn't it? What the fuck? Oh. Isn't that Cody's now? Where it's like, my oh. father loved you paul Heyman, because when we were living in the streets you came up to him and gave him a job that's like i don't i don't think the story is that he was poor it's just like paul helped their family in a time of need you know they're like, poor well i mean i don't think they were uh, dusty blew all his shit by the time it was like the 90s I, that's mm. that's on him bro okay i, I think they would have been fine if you're and if you're just any indie wrestler your whole gimmick is i was homeless i lived in my car but i'm happy to be here now Hell yeah! Shouts out to TJP. Um, so Stephen, absolutely, absolutely. What's his the little match, thing he does with the dab? Like a dab. A little, the little match thing like... between Cage and Johnny Mundo is gonna take place in a steel cage, and then oh a scared goodness. Johnny Mundo. There's a zoom in on his face, and he gulps, and he says, <laughs> "Cage in a cage," and and that's the segment. So that's the trailer line right there. It's like any movie. Absolutely. Absolutely. I yeah. can't wait for that to be the title of the next episode of Lucha Underground. Um, cage so in a cage. Absolutely. I think it was already a title of Lucha Underground in season one. Uh, so, Steven, we cut now to the final first round match in the trios tournament. Okay. And if you remember the last year's trios tournament, it wasn't a tournament at all. Uh, it was kind of just one round and then it was the finals. It was just like qualifying Is that matches. tournaments are nowadays? I feel like no. most wrestling companies now, I'm gonna say most, it's just WWE who does this. It was like just one triple threat match and then a one-on-one -on -one match, finals. That's not even what tournament. they did for the, for that was the their new title. No, it wasn't. No, it, was. it was. That's what it was, a triple no, threat, and then you wasn't. move on to a 1v1, one one one, and then it's finals. Oh yeah, that's three rounds, not two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm guys. talking about a two-round tournament where it's qualify hey, those, those and then finals. Two. Okay. That's not a tournament. Okay. Semifinals, two finals. That's not a tournament, bro. It's good enough. Okay, so listen, Anyways, we're in the final first I round. I the triple threat rule. Why is that a thing? It's the team we learned about earlier tonight. It's Phoenix, PJ Black, and Jack Evans, and they're fighting the newly revived Disciples of Death. Mil Martez brought them back from the dead last episode, and now here they are to reclaim their glory, reclaim the trio's championships they once held, they're, they're one of the only two teams to ever hold them in Lucha Underground. And, Steven, this match is made even more layered by the fact that Ray Phoenix has history with Katrina, the valet, oh the Dodd. <gasps> and do you think the believers in uh, attendance could feel the sexual tension emanating from the two? Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I hope so. I really is hope Katrina so. married now? In real life? Yeah. I think so. I hope so mm. for her. Could I always forget, like, Ray Phoenix is bald, by the way. Ray Phoenix is bald? I think it's like a buzz cut. Yeah, underneath the mask. Maybe it's a buzz cut. Yeah, I, I don't think really Remember the last episode that I talked about? He got his mask ripped off. And it was like, no. kind of like, I don't know if it was bald or buzz cut. It just, I, I don't think know. Buzz cut. This was weird. See wrestlers like have their mask. I mean, I don't know. What if you have like an afro and you're like a, if you're a luchador with an afro, what does that look like? Like would it poof off in the mask? 
Or do you have it where like it goes before, under your mask? If you're like a wrestler with an afro, you know? I don't. I, I couldn't tell a you to even I'm not a wrestler afro. with an afro. If I were like a, like a, a luchador, mushroom? if I were a luchador with an afro, I would cut the top off of my mask and just have it like, you know, open up, go crazy, go wild, you know? That'd yeah, be sick as fuck. Wasn't No Way Jose like wearing a mask at a point in time? Or am I making that up? I feel like I can picture him in a mask. Wait, who is it? Yeah. Honestly, I have maybe. no idea. Like, legit, uh, maybe. Shouts out actually. to him continuing his, oh. his journey to fight racism at every corner. Um, I appreciate it. Just like Cody. So, absolutely, absolutely. I think that's. I was listening um, in on a really like high up executive WWE Endeavor meeting. Um, and I heard that that's the plans for WrestleMania 40. The main event is Cody versus No Way Jose. So I'm pretty stoked for that. Conor McGregor versus Roman Reigns. That's going to be the main event backlash WrestleMania. Oh, shit. That's pretty sick. Um, so, Steven, uh, the, the alive people in this match are having some trouble. Ray Phoenix, PJ, and Jack Evans. Because at one point, PJ is, is starting the match. And he goes to tag out to Ray Phoenix. But then he psychs him out. And he's like, fuck you, Ray Phoenix. I'm not going to tag you in. And then he goes Whoa. to tag Jack instead. But then Jack Evans doesn't want to tag in because he's scared or something. Um, yeah, I would be too. You know, there's pretty scary on the live people on the other mm -hmm. side of the ring. It's Sinestro de la Muerte or Phil. I forget which one. Um, and then Jack Evans is like, PJ, you're, you're doing good right now. I don't want to. You're, you're doing great right now. Keep it up, man. Um, and then Jack starts doing some jumping jacks and eventually he tags himself in. Um, How do you but he's do doing that? a little How bit do you of a tag yourself in? I you just like know. tap on the shoulder or like yeah i mean essentially like that's just okay. basic tag team wrestling oh how's that how, like why is it sometimes a clap like a high five sometimes it's like a tap on the shoulder like well is there sometimes a it's like, why cooperative is, well you, a oh. tap on the shoulder is a little bit more aggressive or you're doing it when your opponents or your partner's hands are busy you know mm, i see but otherwise if you're like trying to reach your a partner from across the ring it's harder to get your shoulder to them it's easier to extend your hand is to just get any that body part that works then to like tag yeah so you can do the leg or i don't yes. think anyone's done it from the leg before so wouldn't it be easy well, just like it'd be so inconvenient to tag them just, on just, their leg just slide under the ring hold the ropes with your hands uh-huh easy like solution down. well i think you have to tag over the top rope like you can't reach under and tag oh. well, that's you have to be holding then. the white rope and, and reach over Whoa. So it's like hard, that's unless your your partner's in an ankle lock and like Kurt Angle's in your corner. Like, okay, if you're in the corner, you climb the turnbuckle, are you considered like eligible for tagging in? Yes. Because you're not on the ringside, I've side, seen it you? happen hundreds of times. Steven, are you on ringside if that happens? Watch wrestling, wrestling turn, our whole lives. Like, like you're, in the, you're, you're in the top rope. Is that considered behind the, the rope to tag in? On that's the a canvas? good question, because the refs do count down when you're on the top rope, but they're not counting yeah. down like you're on the outside of the ring. They're counting down like you're doing something illegal, you know? And so Wait, my so thought like... is if you're applying like an illegal choke to your opponent and then uh -huh. your partner tags you, that's still a legal tag, even though you're doing something illegal, you know? So are refs just stupid? How? Are we... Did we just like, we just create a black no. hole in wrestling no we logic, didn't I, I, I said it's legal to tag oh. in a wrestler who's on the turnbuckle we've seen it happen okay. hundreds of times okay what is black hole about that i don't know i don't i just too much information and process from the it's the, really not it called? it's really the not science you, of tagging in for a tag team match you know you can't tag your opponent if they're on the outside of the ring being on the turnbuckle mm. is not on the outside of the ring because you're not doing no, a ten count. No, outside I mean like on the canvas, like like as on, I don't know what you it's called. You can't do it on the on, on the, the on the. What's the hard What's the hard part of the ring called again? The apron. On the hard you're part the of the apron. ring, the apron. Hell yeah! If you're standing yeah. on the apron, you can't tag yourself in. No, because you're not in no, the it's ring. No, on the apron, you can't tag yourself in. You just tag the other guy on their shoulder. No, I mean if the person you're trying to swap in for, if huh. the legal man is on the apron, you can't tag them. Okay, so you have to be. So one guy's in the ring. One guy's gonna be on the, on the the apron, right? To tag. One, Steven, how, how you make a legal tag in wrestling is uh -huh, if you uh -huh. are not the legal man on your team, you're holding the white tag rope, and then you mm -hmm. reach to your you opponent. You have to hold on the rope. Is that is that a thing you have to do now? It usually is. You have if to you, hold If Rick Knox is wrapping your match, but, no. But if but, you're on the turnbuckle, then no. You don't have to hold on the rope. You you do. What if you just stand on the turnbuckle? Can you still tag it in at that point? Steven, the turnbuckle doesn't mean shit because you're still in the ring. On the turnbuckle, still in the ring. Okay? Oh, you're on on top of the turnbuckle. Yes. Yes. 
Because again, okay. you don't get counted out from a count of 10 if you're on the top no, of the no. turnbuckle. It's a five count, like when you apply they, an illegal choke. I didn't choke. even know they counted on the turnbuckle, to be honest. If you, you're supposed like, you to. Top. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I they really don't as role. much anymore, but like in the video games and shit, you know? Maybe back then, the olden days, where all it was was DDTs and um, rest locks. I just feel like this isn't a complicated thing. You no, know, it's okay. very complicated. It'd be complicated if you've never watched wrestling before, but we've seen it. This is just implicit. It's like, those, it's like those Reddit posts where someone's like, I'm new to WWE. Why is Roman Reigns still champion? Okay. Like, I'm new to this. I've watched WWE for like one week. Why is he still champion, guys? Like, come on. Yeah. That's kind I've of embarrassing. I've this. been watching ever since Big E was champion. So I kind of got like a lot of knowledge under my Yeah. That my, was, my belt. He was a champion yeah. I was born, to be fair. You know? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, I remember when that. he lost to Brock Lesnar. I was really sad as a two year old. Yeah. One year old. Yeah. Five months old. I don't know. Uh -huh. I, I heard, like, at the time, a lot of people were talking about how, like, the same thing happened to Kofi Kingston, but I wasn't alive for that, so I don't really remember it Who personally. Who the fuck is Kofi Kingston? I don't know, man. He's some old dude. Um, but, oh. Steven, this match is still happening, and actually, the alive people, they start working together a bit more. Jack Evans becomes a little less cowardly and starts, like, tagging himself in at one point. Um, and PJ and, and Phoenix actually work together very well, you know, and, and Jack starts pulling his weight, too. At one point, Vampiro says that the Disciples of Death, um, their team has a little fourth man. And that little fourth man's name god. is Katrina. Um, which is just an odd I guess way she's a god, it. technically. Um, no. Ghost person. Spirit? Yeah. Spirit? Spirit? Below god? I don't really know. I guess it's not been confirmed. She could be a god, but if she is, she's kind of shit at it. You know? I mean, there's a lot of gods who are shit at their jobs, like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, but you look at Matanza, and he's killing it right now. And and we heard part of the lore is that, like, a god lives in his body or some shit. Who knows? So, yeah, who knows? Percy Jackson, even? is he a god? Kind of shit at his job. Mm -mm, that's kind of tough. But out of nowhere, Steven, after PJ, Jack, and Phoenix all start working together pretty well, um, they win. Phoenix just picks up the win over, I think it was Phil. Um, which oh, is Phil. Yeah, so the former champs are out of the Phil. tournament already. Phoenix, what a PJ. big upset. I know, I know. And honestly, PJ, Jack, and Phoenix is a badass team. Um, Pretty sick, mm -hmm. pretty sick. And Steven, we go from that matchup, okay, where we now have all the opponents for the trios tournament determined. We cut backstage, and we see the current trios champions, the ones who are going to be defending their titles against the winner of the tournament. And they're in Dario's office, okay? And then Dario is looking at Angelico, one-third of Cuck Angle, one of the champions, and he calls him a perverted pretty boy, um, which is kind of oh cool, you know. And oh my he's goodness! Like, look how far, look how far you three have come as a team. Um, and then Angel Angelico is real upset that he was called a, a pretty boy. Um, I'm not pretty. That's yeah. what he said. But like, I don't know. I don't know if that's like intent. Like, I, one, I'm a, I'm glad it's finally being addressed. Like after season one, that per that Angelico did start as a pervert, right? Like. He yeah. for sure was just like perving on Evilies. Yeah, a little bit. Um but but again, he's upset at the part that he was called a pretty boy, not a pervert here. Which Why is would just... you call me that? Maybe he wanted to be known for his talents in the ring and not his looks, you know. Maybe he's above that. I mean I guess so, but again, he Dario also called him a pervert. Why is he not also upset about that? You know? Oh, uh, because he kinda accepts that he's a pervert, I guess. Okay. He's just yeah, he, he's very comfortable in his own skin. I appreciate that. Yeah, at least. he's very comfortable with the idea of being like a weirdo. Yeah, yeah, uh, but Dario has some big news, a bomb to drop on Cuck Angle, okay? And that is that um, they're actually going to be part of the trios tournament. Like, they, they're they not fighting the winners of the tournament. No, no, they're going to be part of it. Like, they're in the finals fighting a bunch of other and teams. And they're like, what? That makes no sense. Why would we, the champions, be in the tournament for our championship idols? But then... Dario just calls them Team Havoc, and then they get distracted and start fighting over what the team is called. When obviously it's Cock Angle. <laughs> I don't know why there's a discussion happening, you know? Um, My name is Team Havoc. Fucking generic toy fed name. Damn. It's like Fuck this fucking like, TikToks of, I, I gave Matt Riddle a really cool gimmick as a heel. Now he's better. And it's just Matt Riddle in like a black leather jacket or something. Hell yeah. Like, cool. That's pretty closed toed shoes. Matt Riddle. Yeah. Oh my god. Imagine losing your personality and you turn heel. That sucks. I know. I know. Oh, It'd be kind of tough. Dude. Um, but Steven, Dario kicks the cuck angle out of his office because they're fighting over their name. And now we know that 
pretty soon we're gonna learn some new or i guess they could retain cooking that's possible but we're gonna we're gonna see the title put on the line against a bunch of other teams so that's exciting and now we cut to i guess the locker room backstage and steven the time has come this is the reckoning of dodd the disciples of death have just lost their first match after being reborn and katrina is none too pleased she says how dare you lose Dodd, I, I give you we what, gave life? you, mm -hmm. we gave give you, you life, one bro? last chance to prove yourselves to Mill, and what's worse, you let Ray Phoenix beat you. Um, so that that is kind of tough, you know. That does not do well for my does ex not bode boyf well. well, I don't know they ever dated. I, they I think kissed a whole fucked. lot, you know. That's kind of maybe cool. they even fucked. Maybe they just kissed. Who knows? That's so sweet. What a wholesome relationship. Uh, right? And she's like, Dodd. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't destroy all of you right now. And Steven, we huh. get basically bar for bar a storyline we've already seen in this company, okay? Where the leader of a team says, why shouldn't I kill you? And then immediately after, you know what happens after Katrina says that? What, Sinestro, what Sinestro de la Muerte turns around and rips out Phil's heart. Phil is dead. Fucking <laughs> poor Phil, man. I know. <laughs> Just like vibing, you know? He really he was. Cut out, man. Oh. It break, breaks my heart, man. Like, this is shades of Bale all over again when Mr. Cisco fed him to Matanza. Fuck. And then, like, he just can't kind of dike trust his team, right? Then he, he's like, I think Katrina's like, okay. Who the fuck gives a shit about Phil, you know? Like, I don't, I don't give a shit. Yeah, Phil kind of sucked. And then Sinestro yeah. turns around in the other direction, and he rips out Barrio Negro's heart, too! He has two hearts in his hands! This is crazy! He squishes them and shit. Hell yeah! Insane. Well, no, he hits the Seamus pose, and then he's, <laughs> like, like, it's fucking, really awkward. Was it Lionheart's it? Like, ah! Hell yeah! <laughs> Brain um, hearts. And then Katrina's like, okay. And she lets Sinestro live. Yeah, that's kind of killed alpha. his friends. I mean, it's I cool. guess so. I mean, but like, does death really matter for these guys? They already died like two times already. Like, that's canonically fair. in the show. I f maybe it's maybe like it's when your heart gets this ripped way. out. Yeah, when your heart gets ripped out, there's no coming back. But um, it's just like a weird, like, really weird change of like tone, right? Like, just feels like, oh man, we lost. It's so sad to getting their hearts ripped out. Like, immediately. Like, what? Yeah. And I mean, we've grown really close to the characters of the Disciples of Death over the past, like, season. Yeah. So. I liked this Phil, been... whatever his real name was. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't know the real. I didn't know the other two guys' name. I just liked Phil. What okay? the fuck? Yeah, Phil's dead. Bro. He probably changed his name too name. halfway through the podcast. I, I'm pretty sure we gave him another name before. before I, Phil, yeah, like, at I'm... some point, but Phil stuck. You know, um, which one was his OG name? We'll never know. I don't fucking. I thought Phil was his OG name, and then we changed it, and then it went back to Phil. That's personally what I thought happened. We got CM Punk. You can't tell me Phil ever again. Damn. Like, oh, dang it. This. <laughs> he just got really upset while he was buying a hot dog for his wife. What is Phil's wife going to do now that he's dead? This sucks. Is she dead? Is she widowed? Is she widowed again? I guess so. This sucks ass. Dang. This sucks, um, bro. So now, Steven, it's time for our main event of the evening. It's the reason this this mat or sorry this episode is called Monster Meets Monster, and that is because the Lucha Underground title is on the line in a one-on-one -on -one contest between the Monster, Matanza Cueto, and the Man of a Thousand Deaths, Mil Muertes. And oh. Stephen, this match is one of the first times ever we've seen Mil Muertes fighting from underneath, with him as like a kind of underdog of sorts, and. He has Katrina in his corner. Matanza, of course, has Dario in his corner. And th these two are pretty evenly matched in stature. They're going back and forth. They're knocking each other down, which is crazy. Matanza getting knocked down. A god Banger getting match. knocked down. Okay, it's just a big, two big men. Well, one slightly shorter. Yeah, a little bit. Just two big dudes just just mm -hmm. beating the shit out of each other. It's pretty awesome, you know? You ever seen Godzilla this. versus King Kong? Yeah. It's like that. But if King Kong was like four foot two. You ever seen Godzilla hit a tope suicida? That shit was crazy. <laughs> There's this one like um Godzilla clip, right? Where he does like a fucking drop kick, but he's like Yo. sliding on his tail. Yo. Like, standing like this. It was pretty alpha. 
that's what it reminded me of. Go, that's some ambi palm yeah. shit, Steven. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, and so at one point. Dario decides to get involved when Mill is like prone on the outside in a prostrate position um, and he like whips him with his belt or I don't really know what he whipped him with but he whipped him with something and Mill got pissed and started choking his boss Dario but then Matanza saves the day and saves his brother from being choked and then Matanza starts choking Katrina and then Mill saves the day with a chair shot to the back so a lot of choking going wow. on here maybe yeah. the throat is like the easiest thing to like break in someone's body you know? the the goose goo, the goozy the gu- pipe the is guzzle? that what it's called the guzzler the, the goozy pipe i think is the and shoot goozy. name of the throat of course of course of course um so oh goozy vert yeah at one point that's so right steven they battle up to the top of dario queto's office they are battling on top of the roof and they're trying to throw each other off of it trying to suplex each other off of it and holy shit would that be crazy? Okay? This but is then, why we needed a Lucha Underground video game. So we could legit have someone German suplexed into the crowd. That would be awesome. You can do that in the WB games, right? German suplex into, like, the off the cell? I mean, off the cell, but not into the people. Into the believers would be crazy. You know? Oh. That'd be awesome. Um, but what happens, Steven, is that neither man gets thrown off the roof. Instead, Mil Muertes oh. nails a flatliner on Matanza... But oh my goodness! These Holy men are shit. so big. Holy shit! They're so thick. They're so meaty, Stephen. That's too much for the roof That's of Elbies, Dario's office. You know? Mm-hmm. Too much for the roof to handle, and they implode. They crash through it onto Dario's office. And then and the match ends. Well, yeah, it gets thrown out. It was really um, anticlimactic. Like it just ended like right after the impact. Like, what really like didn't after. help with the anticlimax is that Matt Stryker's commentary was clearly removed and just added in post. And it was like, just kind of awkward and silent and Vamp was gone. And it was just like, you couldn't tell if the episode was over or what. You couldn't um, just, cut, you just couldn't just cut, cut to the yo, crowd. Yo, don't say that put word, like, Steven. Put like, put like a, a 10 count from the ref, like some from random ref somewhere, just like you hear uno, dos, you know? Sure. Like, okay. I guess some, like, I don't know. Just, like, I guess the impact of falling through a building is pretty cool. But then they mm-hmm. just ended it, like, immediately after that impact. It's like, you, you couldn't really feel the impact of, like, the explosion, you know? Yeah. I really forget weird. who it was in season one that fell through the roof of, like, the broom closet. But that was, was badass. Because right? then they showed him, like, getting stretched yeah, out. Yeah, they showed the impact. This one's, like, they just showed the hole. Like, you didn't you didn't feel the impact because, like, it just ends at, right after they fall through. Yeah, it was a little weird. Um, But, Steven, like, it's okay. Well, it was a no contest. No monster came out over the other one. Uh, we, we cut now with a little end credit scene to the police chief's office, the one who has been also, ordering around. the soundtrack yeah. for these segments, the police segments, it's yeah. just porn music, I realize. Oh, yeah, because of Redacted. Just... You know that one? Sure. I mean, not really, but like, I'll, I'll take like your word for it. Like old 80s porn music? Sure. You, like you, a big proponent, you, a big, you a big consumer of 80s Love porn? Love me some 80s porn, dude. That's okay. Who's your favorite 80s That's porn star? The real shit. Johnny Sins. Was he around in the 80s? Because I don't believe he was. He was born in the 80s, around the okay, time. Okay, well, I really hope he wasn't in a porno then. Maybe he wasn't. Who knows? Maybe he wasn't no, I, a child. I really during, severely during hope one, he one wasn't. Season. That'd be just disgusting. He'd have to be, at, at most, 10 years old. Can you put, like... Like, like... Like, like, let's, like there's, like, a... Let's, you know those, like, those backstory lore segments in porn, right? Where it's, like, hey, mom, what up? Right? Is it possible for them to hold a child... And then have the child removed from the porn scene? Or is that illegal still? What are you talking about? Like in porn, you know like like the lore behind porn? Like when they do like backstories, like they have like a storyline in porn, right? Like let's say it's like a stepmom and a brother, right? Right? Uh-huh. Stepmom's walking to the brother's room and it's all set up and then they start fucking, right? Is it possible for them to hold the baby before they fuck and have the baby removed from the premises of the location when recording the segment where they fuck? Or is that illegal still? It's a very serious question. I need to know about the porn industry, you know? I need to know the answers. Maybe if it's like an AI baby, you know, like CGI. <laughs> didn't, yeah. Like, we could do that. Oh my gosh. No, we shouldn't. You know, do, I don't know why you, know you said we could do thing? that. No, no. The rise of AI girlfriends apparently is happening like right now, which is fucking insane. Steven, do you have an AI girlfriend? No, I'm not. I'm not Blade Runner yet. I, I get an Steven. AI girlfriend when it's like Blade Runner. We have like a, a model. 
who can do like you promise you don't have an ai girlfriend in. i want to have an ai girlfriend i'm I just asking i'm asking if you promise called siri okay. okay i have an ai called google home you ever heard of her she's beautiful all right yeah she's pretty yeah. fucking hot um yeah but, but steven steven yeah also, do it's you like have really an expensive. ai girlfriend I, I looked up the ai girlfriend stuff it's like a dollar per minute right it's like holy per shit. minute per minute wait That's is this lot. like with a real life model like you have like a um it was like some snapchat influencer right it was like some story i found where like she she recorded a bunch of voices used like an ai voice generator to like mimic her voice or whatever uh-huh right and now you can and then her. she had it like an ai like i guess she had an ai learn her speaking patterns and whatnot you could talk to her like on the phone Aww, or something it's sweet. very dystopian you know like like legit this whole story about ai girlfriends it's very scary i mean good like, genuinely like really who are gonna terrifying why is it terrifying just let the weirdos enjoy it go crazy what blade runner 2049 i'm literally ryan gosling all right wait but but no, describe to me why it's bad okay why it's bad yeah yeah, yeah um yeah. it takes advantage of lonely men how is it taking advantage um because they're desperate for attention of a woman yeah but if they're like so kind they of incel you can't get the attention of a real woman they don't like, have to be they're, they're an they adult be, like really lonely dude like i think also, as long as you're like they don't above have to 18. be an adult too they don't have to be an adult is the thing with who i'm pretty sure well that's the thing like maybe that's that's part of the the what's it called part of the as as more legislation gets made let's say you have to be 18 and older in order to get an ai girl ai art stuff you know back when ai art was a really big conversation on twitter uh -huh. remember that remember when every twitter post be like guys ai art's really bad here's why dude ai art is great for inspiration like as as doing mm -hmm. tattoos and shit like if if someone has an idea I'll just plop it into AI art, see what it does, and if I see a cool yeah, one, I'll like, like use it as a base. Wasn't the original thing to make like concept for artists, right? To like follow and guide through. Wasn't that like their general intention I, I don't of it? Fucking no, to that's what I use it for. for you? But mm. also, I don't pay for any of the services, so I only get like so, so many. Yeah, the shit ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what's really annoying? I hated that trend where it's like, guys, look at this AI portrait of myself in 20 different oh, art styles and yeah, it's just bad. a filter at that point like it's no different from just posting a snapchat filter yourself you know yeah it's a little tough like that was so lame i hate that term was so stupid it was it was kind of Anyways, stupid that was my especially the people AI. that were delusional and like they picked all the ones that looked nothing like them out of like the <laughs> batch of hundreds it's like okay guys this yeah. one looks exact this one looks better than me and then like different well, skin color entirely you know uh -huh. it's like oh i don't know man i don't know about that yeah, one. that's cool bro that's cool bro so Steven, Anyways. Steven, uh, what AI girlfriends are awesome. Now let's mm -hmm. talk about the police chief. My office. gimmick, my gimmick would be if I was a wrestler, my gimmick would be having an AI girlfriend. That's my gimmick right there. How is that a gimmick? Okay. How does that transfer over to the wrestling ring to the squared circle? Um, I hold my smartphone. Hey, babe, what should I do now? My girlfriend right here says you guys smell. I hold my phone. It's like a you picture, like smell? some like generic anime girl or something. Hell yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, why don't Is you just bring a sex doll to the it? ring? That'd be kind of cool. Put a oh, speaker in its mouth and have someone just type words into it from Oof. the back. Let's go. That's a gimmick. No? Listen, your valet being a, a, a sex doll would be kind of sick. That's have probably ever, been um, done on the ever, indies, but still. Have you ever seen like the Cody Rhodes like scrap segment? He did like a concept se like a concept promo he did for like his Iron Man gimmick he was gonna do at one point or wanted to do. No. It was like Rhodes International. He had like Brandy being his valet. He was like some like rich oh, celebrity snob guy. I vaguely I think, remember this now. I think the footage okay. has been like, I think the footage has been like scraped off the internet now. I tried looking for it no. for like a while ago and it did not find it. But Steven, timeline wise, think about it. You know, Steven. Yes. This is maybe I should save this for the week of segment. But I learned the other mm -hmm. day that Connor of the Ascension, before he was released Pregnant. during the COVID stuff. He's been with WWE since 2006. That's crazy. Angela Dawkins has been th th in the WWE for like 11 years. That's crazy, man. Like, this is yeah. some insane shit. 11's not as crazy as 2006, though. That's almost 20 years, you know? Like, that's Development's kind of a wild. fucking pain, dude, you know? I guess so. I guess so. Um, but Steven. Steven, Steven, Steven. We're in the police yeah, chief's office. Connor. Imagine being developed for 20 years and ending up in the Ascension, you know? And then getting released. Like, oh, we tried our best. Like... <laughs> man, it's we really did try, man. We spent like what m m thousands on you, man. Yeah, and you you're still lived like through this? the dusty era of NXT, and you what still fucked up. Like what? Sorry <laughs> about it, um, Steven. 
Yeah. We cut to the police chief's office. You know the lady that's been ordering around, Officer Reyes, Cortez Castro, and also redacted? It's just her now, okay? And she's in her office. She's looking at her cork board with all the all the pins and everything. It's really... There's actually... A, they should have put a trigger warning here um, because they, they had a photo of Bale with the sign uh, that says deceased, which I didn't appreciate. I don't need that rubbed in my nose. Exactly, Steven. And... Then we also see some missing pe- persons signs with names like Alberto El Patron and Blue Demon Jr. Where'd he go? Where did he go? It's good questions. That's what that's what they our go? police chief, my police chief, is trying to figure out, okay? But then... Was it Renee? Is that her name? Reyes? I forgot her name. No, Reyes is Cortez Castro. But oh. as she's there contemplating this case of Dario Cueto, a man walks in her, her room and he looks vaguely like peak of uh, rick rude okay and his name is councilman delgado and he says hello marie so we we have proof we have kind of confirmation the police chief her name is marie Ma- marie the police chief so that's pretty thanks, cool marie. thanks marie and he says marie i've heard you've been sniffing around my jurisdiction boyle heights and and my yeah, boss i work in that area what yeah that's what she says he- he says, my boss wants you to drop this investigation into Dario Cueto. And she's like, you think I care about what the mayor wants me to do? Yeah, and then like council job, care. No, her job is to sniff out. Because what if the mayor's committing crimes? You her job is absolutely. Yeah, but if the mayor's corrupt, it's on her and the journalists to the do their job. The mayor pays you to be corrupt to let him. Damn. Well, be, Councilman be Delgado is like, Marie... We both know I'm not talking about the mayor. We're talking about someone much more powerful. Um, what? And that's just some friendly advice for an old friend. And then Nani he the leaves. <gasps> I think he's working for the mob, Stephen. I think he's working for the, the very abstract that's racist. Mexico that's, that's, we've heard a lot about. That's racist. You can't say that. Okay. I, oh, oh, sorry. My bad. My B, my Why B, my are you B. stereotyping? Uh, he wasn't even Mexican, this dude, okay? <laughs> Even though his last name's Delgado, I, I he was white as can be. I still get like fucking dreams about that. Where like people called us racist for just describing the fucking NXT gimmicks of Italian mobster. Even you say people called you racist. It was one dumbass who didn't watch wrestling on TikTok. Was you gotta three? let it go. Okay. No, was it at least wasn't. three? No, it was wasn't. at least three. It so at wasn't. Least. We can go check at the comments three. after this. I promise it wasn't three. We Steven. could. Let it rest. Let it rest. It's like we- that meme of like, congrats, you're so awesome. You're doing great. And the guy's like walking normally. And then one guy says, you suck. And then the guy's just like, in his bed, just, like having night terrors about this one comment. You have night terrors about being called racist on TikTok? Yeah. That's kind of sad. I mean, honestly, you can be called racist for anything now, really. It's kind of crazy. Again, the way more problematic part about that TikTok we posted about fucking, what's his name? Tony D'Angelo killing his dude it is the fact that uh, we put out a TikTok with guns and gunshots and guns photoshopped <laughs> in the same day a shooting happened where a bunch of kids died. Okay. That's because it was scheduled, right? Yeah, no, like we had made the TikTok okay. like a week in advance. Okay, good. Still, Cut out um, uh, apology. Oh my god. Have you seen that American K pop group that just debuted like the other day? They had like um they were talking like in Japanese accents, so they made an apology video today. I'm like, sorry guys, my boyfriend is Japanese, okay? I thought it was okay. Alright. Sorry guys. I'm sorry. Well, my it's girlfriend crazy. looks like 2014 Paige, so I'm allowed to make fun of the British, you know? Oh, dude, congrats. Them. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank That's you. My I girlfriend, appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, your girlfriend Paige, also actually. looks like 20... 20- oh, 2015 shit. Page. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Main okay, roster I... page. What do you have, huh? Ooh, what do you have? Shit. No, I got NXT huh? era. I got Brad Maddox era page, okay? So shit. Calm down. And Xavier Woods... Uh, dude, well, sometimes, like, on the randomest videos, I get, like, comments like, That's what Paige looks like. And today, I was watching, like, this Johnny Curtis video where he poured milk on himself, right? You remember that? When he poured milk on himself? No, but it sounds very enticing. Titillating. That was his debut on Smack that was pouring milk on himself. Whoa. After winning NXT Season 4. And then I oh, heard yeah. some comments saying, that's what Paige looks like. I thought it was really funny. And then I remember that. I probably shouldn't laugh at that joke because it was kind of fucked up. <laughs> um, poor, In her poor position. Paige. Yeah. Poor, poor, poor Soraya. Um, but Steven... She's doing great now, you know? She's an AEW Marie, now. the police chief, is being, you know, threatened, it feels like, by Councilman Delgado, and she is distressed. Do you think she's going to drop her case against Dario? Yeah. Oh. Just dead end the storyline? Drop it? <laughs> I mean, I mean, Alberto's storyline. 
<laughs> yeah, no, fair enough, fair yeah. enough. I guess so. But I would love that. They just abandon Redacted and Cortez Castro in the temple, you know? They get fired, so they're stuck actually fighting. Oh, shit, I actually hell. work for these fuckers. Damn. This sucks. Um, so, Steven, that was Season 2, Episode 13, Monster Meets Monster. What did you think about the episode as a whole? The ending was kind of anticlimactic of the match. Oh, the match, yeah. I don't know. I, I felt like it was a goodish episode. Like, it was above okay. average for Lucha Underground, you know? Pretty Some good. good matches. I like the cop storyline because I just like yeah. cop shows. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm going to forget Officer Marie's name in like a week, but still, oh, I'm yeah, glad we too. have her name now. We'll probably, we'll probably make a joke be like, Officer, whatever her name is. Phil, Officer Phil. Um, Officer, we'll probably make the same joke or something. Oh, like, shit. She know. was Phil's wife. She's the widow. <laughs> We oh, are such shit. good lore keepers. This oh, is so my. sad. Goodness. Wait until she Shucky finds ducky. out whack, her whack. husband we was also undercover. No. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Well, oh, Steven. he's dead. No, he's dead. He. She's so deep into it now. It's... Steven comes with the job. We man. need to talk about what happened during the week of April twentieth, twenty sixteen. Are you ready to do it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Steven! Yes. We need to talk about the week of professional wrestling, okay? We're still in the aftermath of WrestleMania 32 in Dallas, okay? We're still reeling from all of it. The wrestling world is on fire. Shane O'Mac is back, baby. Uh, there's, there's an impending draft split that, that we already talked about for some no. reason. No! So, I hate listen. this timeline, dude, we're in right now. No, this was great. Okay. 2016 wrestling was this. great. But no, there's, there's probably some guy in some YouTube comment section be like, man, wrestling peaked in 2010, okay? No. Back, back when um, John Cena beat the Nexus. Steven, I know that's not true peaked. because, like, everyone that was, like, a teenager in 2010 watching wrestling carries deep-rooted shame about it. You know? About 2010? Yeah, whereas when we were teenagers watching wrestling, it was kind of cool. Nah. With, it's like, probably, like, Ring of Honor like, New um, Japan. And, probably, mm -hmm. like, the guys who um outgrew wrestling because he realized it was stupid and made for children. Damn. WWE. I'm sorry, man. Made for I apologize. Mm -hmm. We're watching mm -hmm. a kids' television TV show weekly. Listen. Listen. You know, you know what the cool wrestling to watch back in 2010 was? You know what was peak wrestling in 2010? TNA. That's right, total non-stop action. They were riding high. Yeah. But unfortunately, ever since we started following Lucha and have been recapping wrestling since like 2015 forward, 2014 forward, uh, Steven, it's been, been a rough years, time. You know? yeah, yeah, it's it's been real rough for TNA. Uh, they switched networks already like 10 times since we've been watching. Uh, they haven't switched to Twitch yet. That's when we knew, dude. That's that will be know. exciting. It's over, man. Oh, yeah. Once they go to like fucking, what's it called? But at least it, they're not on YouTube like live, you know? At least then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They'll be safe. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Steven, I have bad news for Total Nonstop Action, Dixie Carter's TNA. And that's because uh, they, as of this week in pro wrestling, April 2016, uh, they've been evicted from their corporate offices in Nashville. How? Uh, How does this happen? They stopped paying rent. Um, oh. Yeah. Uh, but oh. it's okay because they have a backup plan. Do you know where they're moving their corporate offices? Atlanta, Georgia. No, it, it's to the warehouse where they keep their merchandise. Hmm. Which is Man, a little imagine sad. that poor intern, you know? I know, Who right? TNA. Shit. Oh, fuck, now you're just man. surrounded by fucking, what's it called? My resume Eric is Young like merchandise. destroyed now, you know? Like, mm -hmm. fuck. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, um, Steven, TNA is, is quickly on the decline. I, or not quickly, they've been on the decline. But now they're like looking for additional sponsors. Some old wrestlers from the Disciples of Apocalypse are like trying to come in and save them. The Harris brothers. But it's they're really fine now time. though, you know? Right side, they have Fandango now, you know? Oh shit. They got Prince Pretty. Yeah. Do they do they have Prince Pretty? They have Naomi. Do, no, do they have Tyler Breeze? See Steven, do they do they have Prince Pretty? No, I think he's contracted with WWE still. So. Prince Pretty. Fuck. Yeah. This sucks. Whatever. I think it's like a Legends contract or something now. Damn. Well, I gotta talk to you up, about down, a man. Down. I, I think that's legit it. Mm. I gotta Kinda talk crazy. to you about a man who I'm really not quite sure if he has a WWE contract anymore. And that's Bray Wyatt. 
uh, because back in 2016, he fought Roman Reigns. Is he getting over spring in... cleaned? I don't think so. Not in 2016. But he's over there fighting Roman Reigns in Italy. Okay. <laughs> the fuck. Um, and at one point during this this house show against Roman Reigns in Italy, Bray Wyatt's just walking around outside the ring. Did he cut. It? Um, and Hello? he slips and falls, and they had to end the match. They had to call off the match because because Bray hurt himself when he slipped and fell. Um, it he had to be stretchered to the back. Wow. Yeah. That's a Did little he fall unfortunate. On his ass, like Hulk Hogan style, or like um something with his leg, his hamstring, or his his calf, or something. I like don't Kevin know. Kevin Nash. Um, but he's oh, yeah. injured. Uh, Roman wins by Ali, default. Is I that guess? the worst way to get injured? Just falling on your ass, not getting back up. <laughs> Just... It's a little embarrassing, you know. At least it wasn't televised, you know. Yeah, like I'd say the coolest way to get injured is Psycho Sid style. Okay, jumping off Injure the yourself. turnbuckle. And just turning your leg in circles. Okay, I lied. The coolest way to get injured is before your match banging your head into a door. That's actually the coolest way to <laughs> get injured. Who did that? Who, who banged their head on the door? Hmm, who would do that? Who? Yeah, actually, Goldberg just got into an accident this week in, like, real-life current events. Because uh, he was he rode his tractor wrong and, like, split his head open. It's kind of crazy. How does uh, that happen? I don't know. I don't know. What, what did he do? Uh, he was riding his tractor around. I don't fucking know. Did he flip his tractor over himself? What? That'd be badass. You flip your tractor. Oh, shit. I hope he's it's okay. It's like that once in The Walking Dead where Lori was like driving in the streets by herself and somehow managed to flip herself over in the streets. The empty streets of Atlanta, That's Georgia. So sad. I'm so, maybe she was like, drunk driving. She was drinking earlier. Then she was driving. Okay? That's how it what happens. Idiot. What an yeah, idiot. What an, Fucking Not idiot. Worry. You want to know about two more fucking idiots, Steven? Drinking on the job. Is it Jay Uso? You're going to mention a Jay Uso no, case No, 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 no. It's, it's Adam no, no, it's Rosen. Jimmy. It's Jimmy, right? It's Jimmy the one who... It is Jimmy, Jimmy, usually the one violating it. But Steven, Adam Rose and Connor have been suspended for violating WWE's wellness policy. Um, so sad. This is both of their second violations of the policy since starting with the company. Uh, again, Connor's had some time to fucking rack them up since 2006, okay? Um... Adam Rose a little Connor. less time, but both men uh, who uh, surely become stars in, in the years following, right? Yeah. What are you distracted Actually, by? Tell like... me what you're looking at on your computer. Uh, I have right now opened up my notes. <laughs> is it your AI girlfriend, Steven? No, it's actually just my notes of what I'm supposed to talk okay. about. <laughs> like for okay. the, the week of. That's going to be next time. That's gonna be you next. have notes for week of. You have notes yeah. for April 20th, 2016? No, the week this week of. Current events is what that's called. Trying to so call me out. Fucking Trying segments to call me out. Well, I am calling you out. You got our segments wrong, bro. This Trying is coming out for no reason. And that's the current events for no reason. I, 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 I was genuinely curious if you remembered a news story from April 20th of 2016. Bruh, I do remember badass. that. 420 day. This is when Matt Riddle and RVD had that one second where they smoked joint together. Whoa. This week. Remember crazy. that segment? I yep. remembered it. I love it. Steven, Shane McMahon is is in charge of Raw for the third week in a row now, which is... So is he the permanent boss, or...? Well, it's peculiar, because do you remember his match at under... Or, sorry, not match at... The match at WrestleMania against The Undertaker? If he lost, he he was supposed to not get control of Raw. But, but now he's wow. just controlling Raw anyways. The guest host. Guest hosting Raw. Guest for Raw. three weeks in a row, I guess so. Yeah. Um... I it's just like don't, the, that one don't guy, the George Costanza, you know, just walk into work. Just say you work there. Oh? Someone will is believe this a Seinfeld eventually. bit that I don't know? Um, No, it's a real life bit. <laughs> oh. From SNL. Oh. Where the guy quit. Exciting. He meant he, he yelled about quitting SNL because it was shit. And realized, oh, shit, I have bills to pay. So he just walked back to work. Uh-huh. Good for him. Yeah. Absolutely, Steven. You ever quit a job? Me? Yeah. Um... Yes. Well, I don't know. There's two weeks since they're quitting. I don't know. Hmm. Ah. That's I, I a good quitting question. is like, oh, I'm done with this piece of shit job. I'm leaving. Yeah. You know? You, you're more of a resigning type of guy, you know? Yeah, you know? Yeah. I see, I see, I see. Resign, resign and go. Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, well, Steven, I have to resign my fa myself to the fact that, unfortunately, now existing in this world, this, this, the year of our Lord, 2023... We will probably never get another season of Total Total Bellas. And that's devastating, okay? I really... I'm sad I have to live with that knowledge. 
but I can at least be grateful for when it was around, uh, because back in April of 2016, it was announced that the premiere of season one of Total Bellas was going to debut in October. I'm excited. I'm pumped big, about it. Big if true. Okay? Season one is going to consist of six one-hour episodes. I'm excited. I'm what? stoked. What? I only, can't wait. only one hour? They aren't on one hour after these? What? Aren't like most reality TV shows one hour long? I thought. Oh, uh, anywhere from oh, like half hour to an hour. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But like, wh wh why is that weird to you? Why are you making... I assume, I assume the entire should be like one hour long. Like, episode length. Yeah, six, an six hour. one hour episodes. That's the season. It's just six episodes. That's how long it is? Just six, just six episodes? Well, if you remember correctly, Steven, the gimmick for Total Bella's mm -hmm. season one is that everyone in their family, Johnny Ace, Daniel Bryan, John Cena, the Bellas and their mom, were all going to live in John Cena's house together. But after one episode, Daniel Bryan was too frustrated by John Cena's rules. He left the show. Um that so, shoot or is that like a yes, in the show it's a shoot and daniel bryan did like interviews afterwards he's like yeah i fucking hated john cena during that period of time <laughs> it's kind of hilarious i what that is it's peak wrestling like the rules were everyone had to be together for dinner every night and like go around in a circle and shit and like it's just like white like nuclear there family was a dress thing code ever. there was a dress code for the dinners as well um for a house for his house for john cena's house in florida what are you doing I don't know, man. What Shouts do they do John. after? Do they just go back home to, like, Washington in the woods? Oh, yeah. They had to, like, leave their house in Arizona to to move in to fl this Florida home for a while for Bree's reality show. Kind of fucked wow. up. Yeah. So you really a did crazy. take a bullet for, like, no reason, huh? Daniel? Yeah. Yeah, well, he just left, one, like, just, really just quickly. one day just wasted for, like, mm -hmm. no reason. Johnny Ace loved it, though. He loved hanging out in John Cena's house, you know? Must I guess that. big. Mm, I guess so. And I think white it was more so he shiny. got to have sex with Nikki Bella's mom. You know, he was probably That's more cool. stoked about that. Yeah. Yeah, good for him. Good for Johnny Ace. Uh, so, Steven, I'm excited about the premiere in October. I can't wait to watch every episode with you. So, I was running low on news for 2016. So, I had to resort to Monday Night Raw for April 20th. And all I did no. is I, I looked, I did a quick glance at the main event. And I want you to guess. What this main event may have been. I'll give you a hint. It was give, a singles match. Hints? A singles match between I'm two hint? competitors. One's a good guy, uh, one's a bad guy. Are they main eventers now? Yes, they are both main eventers. One has main evented WrestleMania. Uh, the other has main evented many AEW pay-per-views. So, <gasps> so it's Dean hint. Ambrose. John right? Moxley is one of the competitors in this Raw main event in a random week in 2016. Uh -huh. Who is his opponent? That's crazy. WrestleMania um, main eventer. Shinsuke Nakamura. That man has never main evented WrestleMania. <laughs> there, what? There's no way. Shinsuke was firmly in NXT at this point in 2016. Randy Orton. When did Randy main event Mania? And did he main event Mania? No, he... Ma I don't know did if he? he did or not. I I feel like he had to have at some point, maybe against like Triple H or John, but I don't was remember triple, it. Wasn't there like a triple threat match with them three? He fought Legacy. No, a wasn't threat the triple threat like John Cena, Triple H, Randy, wasn't that a main event? It was Big Show, Edge, and John Cena in a triple threat. That oh. was a sick match. So Did he? I'm I don't sure know. Has, it's right? a really good question if Randy's main evented or not. Huh. Because his match with Bray wasn't the main event, obviously. Huh. God damn. Poor Randy. Poor, poor Randy. Wow. So, but no, it was not Dean versus Randy. It was actually Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens. Oh, and man, you hit me with the swerve, the fake main event. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, he's actually main evented two WrestleManias, Kevin Owens. Good for him. Two fake main events. <laughs> I'm guy. So sorry. I'm sorry. You only get uh, met one. Damn. Who? Steven. Who won that match between Dean and KO? Um, KO. No, D Dean won clean, actually. Dean wins matches match. back then? What the fuck? Afterwards, uh, Chris Jericho attacked him. And I'm really excited because I think this Dean is leading or Kevin? to their, like, potted... Pl he, he attacked Dean. Uh, th I think it's oh. leading to their potted plant, like, thumbtack match. Do you remember that? What? Like, the, 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 the asylum match, I think it was called, between Jericho and Ambrose. And they used thumbtacks. Is he champion at this point? 
Who? Dean? No. Remember, it's Roman. Oh. He beat Triple H at Mania. Oh, man. What a banger match. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the week of in 2016 steven uh, what a banger news that's why we need wn if you can have random shit like um true. why this guy make it push in the future here are the plans we can make fun of it for having hindsight you know and i think the wn also includes a list of who brian alvarez is fucking at any given point in time so like that <laughs> also actually? be pretty valuable no of course not what the fuck i saw like a clip of him making fun of the miss or failing a kip up damn and it was the most like um rent free thing ever as he started like kipping up from the ground without any hands like Okay, Brian, whatever. Piece of shit. Damn. Alvarez, who cares? Poor Mike the Miz Mizanin. Um, so, Steven, we, we should invest in the WON. Um, maybe Dave will give us a free subscription for how big of fans we are of him. And, mm -hmm. you know, all we the publicity some that we can bring him. Absolutely. Of yeah, course. He, probably he needs it, you know? Like us bringing up the fact that he compared uh, the word Mark to a slur. Uh, but it's okay, you know? It's it's a -okay. it happens, you know. PewDiePie and an oops of the same caliber, you know. I mean, maybe a little worse. Um, but Stephen, I think it's time for us to talk about the current day, the modern day of professional Maharaja. wrestling. That's that's what it is. Yeah, we have talking a lot of the gender news. Talking about speaks. gender baby. Stay they tuned. on Raw the other day with Indus Singh. Is that their name? Indus. Shire. Oh shit! Sh it, it. Veer, Veer's second debut. <laughs> Hell guess. yeah! It's a team that Where Malcolm Bivens. Where did Shanky go? I miss Shanky every goddamn day. Shanky Where the Commander fuck is Aziz, Shanky. My boys, Steven, are you ready to talk about Jinder Mahal? Yeah, yeah. Steven, what up? We have big current events this week. Okay. What? There's so much happening right now in the wrestling world. Like, uh -huh. um, AEW's yeah. pay-per-view, all in. No, no, all in's like all, in a couple months. We're, we're talking about out. double or nothing. D-O-N. Double no, or nothing. No, all out's not D happening this year. Double deal. Um, no, no. D d d Ring double of or Honor. Nothing. No, no they, they might be having a pay-per-view. No, have you seen knows? the Ring of Honor card? Have you seen the Ring of Honor card they have no. right now? No. It's, Why the it's fuck? legit more matches than WrestleMania Night 1 and 2 combined. What are you talking about? Does Ring of Honor the have a pay-per-view? Yeah. When? Um, I don't know. But the fuck? this week or something. They announced all the okay. cards for it. I can name all the matches you want. I mean, sure. Yeah, hit me with it's it. It's a lot of matches. Again, it's more than WrestleMania Night 1 and 2. Because we're um, this podcast is going to come up after, come out after AEW Double or Nothing has happened. But we have the spoilers. Um... Because at the time of recording, it for hasn't all the yet. pay per views, United Champions, the, the Double or Nothing, all of yeah. them. Yeah, we we got we got TK's booking notes for this Saturday. Yeah, so that's exciting. Um, Stephen, hey, hang me with these Ring of exactly. Honor matches. I gotta go find it. Hang on. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I didn't prepare Steven. this segment. I, I thought you had your notes you pulled to. up earlier. What the fuck? No, this wasn't part of my notes. This was just ad libbed. All right. God fucking damn it! Just ad lib some matches then. What do you think is gonna happen at Ring of Honor? Well, I mean. Apparently, already happened. <laughs> oh, the Ring of Honor show that. already happened. Yeah. When? Unfortunate. When? Like Twenty Give hours me the ago, date. apparently. Oh, so recent. God damn. Yeah. Um. Um. Just give me the main event. That's all I want. Who um, did Claudio fight? Um. It was for the TV title, actually. Uh. What? Um. It was Joe. Smo Joe versus um, Zaber Jr. Ooh, what the fuck? Um, Zack Saber's in Ring of Honor? Apparently. <laughs> that's kind of wild. New Japan's champion or something? I don't know. Okay. What the fuck that's, is happening? That's legitimately interesting. I don't like, I like Zack Saber. Saber. I think he's boring as shit, but... Um, what, you don't like matches where he does, like, submissions for, like, 20 minutes? No, I have to be honest, Steven. When I used to watch the indies all the time, I would skip Zack Saber Jr. and A-Kid Axiom matches all the time. <laughs> Okay. Uh, why? I thought they so were cool. ass. Why? My friend Tiger would always be like, "You gotta watch this match." And after like a year and a half, it's like, "Tiger, you know I don't like this shit." But it was, he always recommended Axiom matches to me. This is how I feel whenever someone asks me to watch like some Kenny Omega match back then, and I had to pretend to like Kenny Omega back in the days. You know, mm -hmm. like oh, this Absolutely. match is like an hour long, dude. I could be Who doing like literally anything right now. Ever asked you to watch a Kenny Omega um, match? Maybe you. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Uh, the I'm only sure, like, Kenny Omega match I would ever recommend is him versus Orange Cassidy and Pac from like 
Revolution yeah. 2021 because that match is sick as fuck. Like, it okay? was like the big thing back then. Like if you didn't watch Kenny Omega, what are you a fucking nerd? What are you casual? Gay? Okay, yeah, gay. Yeah, no, I get that. You bisexual? Absolutely. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh. So Steven, Come on, bro, what do you get to it? Hurry the fuck up. It... No, let's talk about your segment first. No, tell me how many matches are at this Ring of Honor show. You brought it up. No, no, no. You bring your stuff up. Just count the matches. It's not hard. No, no, no. Because I can't find the card. So sad. God damn it, Steven. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, let's talk about now. Instagram. Okay, let's talk about Instagram. Uh, okay. Because CM Punk posted on his story. He's done with all the Brian Alvarez shit, right? He's, 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 we're past that. He posted it's on so his sad. story a, a photo of Larry, his dog. And Larry was looking cute as shit, as Larry does, okay? Um, I miss his tooth that Kenny Omega kicked out, but it's okay, you know? Um, and apparently Steve Austin swiped up on, on CM Punk's story about Larry, okay? Mm -hmm. And Stone Cold was like, yo, cute dog, CM Punk. Um, are you injured? And then CM Punk responded to Steve Austin and said, yes, Larry is cute. And yes, I am injured. I have a tricep injury. Um... And, you know, that's like a cool conversation between two legends in pro wrestling. But then Steve Austin turns around and he goes to the dirt sheets with it. And he says, CM Punk has a tricep injury, guys. He needs to go to the dirt sheets? Well, he, he told Sports Illustrated, which is like oh. top tier dirt sheet, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Larry is kind of cute. So, mm. shouts out also, about that. I did find the card. There's a lot of matches. I can name all How of them many? right now. Please do. Um, but well, they go in stacks of three, <laughs> three, <laughs> three rounds. <laughs> the the columns are three, right? Um, we have the kingdom, right? Ooh, I love them. Versus Maria Ninja and Mac shit. and Willie Mac. Ooh, pretty cool. fun, fun. Okay, okay. We have Mercedes Martinez. Uh huh. Versus Dream Girl Ellie. I don't know who that is. I'm guessing she's some stardom. Yeah, sure. Okay. We have Marcus Cross. Very Ooh. Morales and LSG. I know LSG. Versus the Righteous and Stu Grayson. The fuck? Stu Grayson's around? We have Sky Blue versus okay. Love Miranda her. Alize. Oh, I know her. Okay. We have Rocky Marrero, Romero yes, versus Rocky Titus Romero's. Alexander. Very famous. T Titus this is a bomb card, by the way. I'm reading from the top of importance on card okay. matter. Perfect. Penta, Perfect. Penta El Zero Muero. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Versus Salem J. J. Silent cool. J? Salem J. Slim J? Slim J. Sl oh, Slim J. He's in the Trust Busters, man, obviously. Hell yeah. Um, Vert Vixer? Vixen, versus Kira Steven. Hogan. What the fuck? It's Vert Vixen's the tall, like, The quality's redhead, really bad. I, I, I can't see the letters as much. Okay, it's like okay, the eye okay. exam, you know, when you cover your eyes. I like, the ends look like R, yeah, yeah. We have... Hyen versus uh, Willow. Uh, cool. Cool. I like Willow, I guess. We have Diamante oh. versus Trish Adora. Okay. We have Cole Carter and Zach Clayton. What the fuck? Versus Darius Martin and Action Andretti. Oh. Okay. We have our boy Blake. Blake Christian. He's fighting Hell Nick, yeah. Nick Comroto. Nick cool. Camarado? Hell yeah. Camarado. That'd be a great that match. That match on sick. Yeah. We're probably the only ones to cheer for that match too, if you watch it live in yeah. the audience crowd. Unironically, I'd love to watch that match. Okay, I mean, next we were up. the only ones who popped for fucking our boy Blake, so, you know. Oh, at the AEW show? Yeah. Yeah. Was <laughs> like, legit he was pop like, too. It wasn't like a, an ironic pop. It was like a legit pop for him. Well, we didn't know he was going to be in San and fucking Tonio. Okay, he, yeah. was, he was like in a major match this past Dynamite, I think, with like AR Fox or some shit. Kind of crazy. Wow. Ashley D. Amboys? Ashley D. Amboise? I don't know. I've Versus seen her on... Danielle Camella? Oh, shit! Vanessa Bourne from, from this, this, NXT. This card has a record seven women's match, by the way. Okay? That's how many matches there are with women involved. Danielle in Camella this. lives in, in San Antonio, Steven. I saw her at an indie either. show once in the crowd. She her. wasn't even wrestling. She was just, like, oh. sitting there. And Maybe I saw her. Maybe wrestlers like, oh. waiting in line. Tracy Williams? Versus Shane Taylor? Hot Sauce Tracy Williams? Shane Taylor's yeah. pretty fucking sick. Let's go. AR Fox versus Kyle Fletcher. That sounds pretty cool, I, I think. I, mean, I guess, yeah. It'd be like high high paced. Dude, high action, I don't yeah. know. I saw Kyle Fletcher. I, I learned about his, his existence last month. 
right? He's all the like open. What do you mean? I don't know. He's been around for like 2017. I don't know his I don't know his name, man. Okay. Um, we have Jalistico versus Tony. Hell yeah! Dippin. Hell yeah! We like Tony Deppin. Yeah. We saw him at Joey Chanel's spring break. He killed it. Pretty cool. Yeah. Mark Briscoe versus JD Drake. Who's JD Drake? That. Joe Drake. Sorry, sorry, the, the eye test is failing me again. Who's Joe Drake? I, JD Drake is a real wrestler. I don't know who the fuck Joe Drake is. Oh, I don't, JD Drake? Is that his name then? Yeah, why'd you change it to Joe? I don't know if it's a D or O. My eyes are failing me. If this quality JD is really Drake bad. is a wrestler. I just don't know who he is, but I know the name. Oh, I sent you a okay. picture of him. If you want. Cool. You probably won't like him. Aww. Um, Athena versus Promise Braxton. I, okay, that I could I could do without that one. <laughs> you're, gonna get, <laughs> you're gonna get fine I money. Like, I don't like Claudio, I don't like Athena. Claudio, oh, I could I could do without this that, one. I could do without cool, this right? one. Okay, versus two? Serpentico. Oh, <gasps> sounds is pretty Luther sick. There? Is Luther there? No, I don't. I don't see him. Mm. In our main event, Samoa Joe, Zack Saber Jr. versus Christopher Daniels, Matt Seidel. That wasn't a singles match between ZSJ and Joe? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Bitch. Steven, this was not a pay-per-view. This had to have been a taping. I think it's a super show. Ring on our super show. That's what they called it. This had to have been a taping. Probably was a taping. Probably was. What the fuck was the point of that? No, it's a supersized episode. That's what it is. I a still stand episode. by that question. What the fuck is the point of that? Our main event was... A tag team match and then Claudio versus Serpentico. Yeah. Cool, bro. I yeah. mean, legitimate props to AEW for their double or nothing card because it's not that many matches compared to usual. So we'll talk about that to end off the episode. Um, but Steven, uh, also props to AEW from Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan did an interview recently and he said AEW is doing a great job. Which worries me. You think he's watch AEW, or it's like he's seen like one indie clip for PD PWG. He said like, oh, he man, records. This shit's pretty good, man. He said he records Brother. everything on his DVR and fast forwards through the shit, and then watches the good stuff. He fast forwards the shit matches. Mm -hmm. He gets the endings. He fucking skips shit like half matches. The match. Is Hulk Hogan code for a, a woman or a black person on his screen? Um, mm -hmm. Just so we're all on the same page. Good for, um, good for Hulk Hogan. Dark. No, Steven, the name alone. Um, but that, that interview <laughs> That's why I got was... canceled, you know? That's why. <laughs> uh -huh. um, Steven, Makes can sense. you guess who that interview was with? The, where Hulk Hogan came out supporting AEW. SRS. Mm -mm, not with Sean Ross Sapp. Fuck Sean Ross Sapp. This was with our boy, Ariel Helwani, on the MMA Hour. Let's fucking go. Should have known. A real journalist. A real journalist. And guess Should've what, known. Steven? Guess what? Guess what Hulk Hogan yeah. was doing on Ariel Helwani's MMA hour? At mass debating people? I don't know. No. You know what he was doing? He was promoting his new CBD line. Why does he have one? I don't know. Should we test is it out an, on Is this the next money-making scheme from, like, celebrities? Like, alcohol? Or, like, books? Like, autobiographies was a big I one think, at one point? Well, ghost-written autobiographies? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then the next one was, like, what? Like, NFTs? That was really big for a bit. Good for Sasha being ahead of the curve, though, with her CBD products, you know? Mm -hmm. Winning that fucking award. Shouts out to Mercedes Monet. Good for her. Good Absolutely. For her. Abs of course Hulk Hogan would compete against her. Fine. Whatever. Anyways. Um, Anyways. So, yeah. I, I think we should watch. test out. Yeah. Next week, we, we do a product review where we test out Sasha Banks' CBD, and then we test Hulk That's Hogan's CBD. That's for the Fung special. Trying out wrestlers' C CBDs. <laughs> That'd be so fucking stupid. I love that. Wow, That'd this be a is great awesome. TikTok. I feel <laughs> normal. I feel the same. Um, so, uh, Steven. What's up? TK and AEW is doing great, like Hulk Hogan says. They announced that AEW Collision, their new Saturday show, it's going to debut in Chicago, Illinois. So, Punk's that back. That means Jade might debut in there. That's crazy. She's I don't Chicago. think that's what that means. I don't. That's I crazy. Don't, Maybe Sky Blue. I could see her making her collision debut. Oh, yeah. Core Jade Light, I mean. I'm sorry. Oh, of course. They're not God, even yeah. kind of similar. But, um, Steven, uh, the Anyways. best news to come out of all this AEW collision stuff is that Jim Ross uh, took to his podcast to say that 
he really hopes that he'll be allowed to do uh, commentary for Collision, um, but he worries it might conflict with his uh, Saturday football uh, habits, um, which is sad. Condolences like to T, JR. Watching your phone, you know? Just watching <laughs> yeah, your yeah. phone while you're commentating. <laughs> Halfway Absolutely. through, fuck it, let's fucking go, you know, just like scream for football or something. All commenting like, I don't know, Athena versus Sky Blue. Or... I see that... him just getting so senile, he starts commentating the football instead of the wrestling. <laughs> Excalibur's there trying to bring him back in. It's like, That'd be awesome. Bro, Jim, Athena is really good in this match, right? Who? Who? I, 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 don't, even, I don't know football well enough to what? make any references in the JR voice. Uh, I can only do puppy killing references, Steven. That's all I got in me. Okay? <laughs> Man, this all... match reminded me of the puppies I squashed as a kid. <laughs> Absolutely. That, sorry, yeah. the puppies watched, he um, destroyed when he was a kid. I watched mm -hmm. I watched some Saudi Arabia propaganda the, today, right? With the WWE. Fuck, yeah. Right? And um, there, they, uh, there was this one segment where they go to, like, I guess some nightlife downtown area of Saudi Arabia in Jeddah. Uh -huh. And um, Jeddah. they went to an anime convention, right? And the most wholesome thing happened. And there's almost... an anime convention in Saudi? Yeah, who would have thought they liked anime, you know? Holy they have... fucking shit. Who would have known? Who would have known that they have access to what we have on the internet? But, but, um, oh, what's it called? Almost, right? He's a really big anime fan, you know? Everyone loves Almost. He's awesome. He's great. Hell yeah. You know what he does at this anime convention? He takes his phone doing? out. FaceTimes Angela Dawkins Ain't no way. and just shows him like all the anime statues and is like, yo, dog, look at this, bro. Bro, look at this. That's so and Angela, mean. And just like, oh, oh man, dog. I'm yeah, jealous, the dude. FOMO. Angela didn't get invited to Saudi Arabia. This is fucked up. They really not? Well, I assume because he had to FaceTime him at the convention, he probably wasn't there. You yeah, know? Angela was really funny. I'm just seeing almost FaceTime Angela Dawkins for anime statues. That is pretty fucking badass. I hope almost was selling his art there. You know, just <laughs> um, he bought like there's like a an artist from Japan or maybe just into Japanese art who does like um drawing mm -hmm. classes for like Yo. kanji, right? And almost had one. He was really happy about getting one. Aww. <laughs> it's Omos pretty awesome. Is so sweet. I love almost. People Omos say they're almost sapiens and they complain about him fighting Seth Rollins. You guys are stupid. Yeah, right, dumb bitches is what they are. Okay, Fake poser fans. Me personally, I'm oct, Steven. Okay, yeah, that's just me personally. Um, so let's talk about uh, my favorite professional wrestler for a second, Steven. Let's talk about Chelsea Green because she's been back in WWE for a while now. We were there for her re debut at the Royal Rumble. Remember that? Her return. I liked that. That was sick. We were the only ones in the crowd who knew her in our area. At, well, my dad knew her. My dad loves but Chelsea. But no, that's a lie, actually. The people behind us knew, probably. She was really yeah, loud. Yeah, I mean, she was in NXT for, like, three years. Uh, she she had already been in a Royal Rumble. Like, people knew her, I think, you know? I think she uh, debuted, too, in Raw. Hell yeah. With Charlotte. So, I'm pretty sure. I have no idea. But what I do know is how Chelsea got her job back with WWE. Did you see what? this story, Steven? I did see this story. Yeah, apparently she just messaged Triple H one day, I want my job back. And then Triple H was like, yeah, when do you want to start? And like, it just worked. What do you think so, the CM Punk equivalent is? It's like, fuck you, Tony. I don't want to work for you ever again, bitch. No. And Tony's I'm like, oh, just come in. No. Yeah, we'll, we'll hire oh, Ace Steel we'll back, but he, he has to work from home. No more biting people. You know, I get that. Yeah, did he actually get hired sure. back? <laughs> yeah, but he's going to work remote. Um, whatever that right. means for Ace Steel. But Good for Steve, Steel. What the fuck? How? How? I know. Well, I think it was part of like CM Punk's negotiations. It was like, mm. if you're bringing me back, you got to bring back Ace. So, listen, Steven, listen, look here and listen. I can't wait for the flood of wrestlers that were released in 2020 that are all going to be texting Triple H now. Just like, yo, what's up, brother? Can I get my job back? And I'm back sure for Triple H's phone, to. you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because of his big meaty. Who could fingers, ask? You Leo Rush? Do you think he's asking? Ooh, I bet Leo could get his job back. Dream? Honestly. You think Dream is asking? He I probably bet he's won't been messaging be able to. for the past like three years every day. You know? Um mm -hmm. Patrick. What do you think Patrick's doing right now? Um, is he having a mental breakdown right now on like Instagram Live most of the time? Oh like, I hope not. Dude, I fuck man. This could have been so good. Cause imagine if Velveteen hadn't 
messaged minors. And then he got called up to the main roster right when Triple H came into power. So we didn't get like fucked like Johnny Gargano or or like fucking Pete Dunne. But like he got the 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 the, the fucking. I think Pete Dunne's been pretty good for himself well. before before Triple H. I thought he's been pretty yeah, alright. No, Butch sucks ass. Pete Dunne was legitimately no, one of the coolest the wrestlers what are you complaining in the about? What the fuck? What, Steven, what, what, what is Pete Dunne's what is Pete Dunne's peak? Answer me. What is his peak? When he was the longest reigning NXT UK champion on the main roster. Okay, he what does peak, peak on the main roster? Exactly. How does he peak? His peak was fucking when when all the roster got stranded in Saudi and then he got to show up on SmackDown. You know, that was his peak. Okay, yeah, yeah, on the main roster. That was on Cole's peak like unironically. <laughs> it really was. Those two nights. <laughs> like, actually, what the fuck? So, anyways, um, yeah, Chelsea Dr Green got her job back. I'm gonna message Triple H real quick too, um, see what we can do for ourselves, Stephen. Who should uh, text him back after? I think Tucker Knight could, you know. Tucker, big fan for sure, gets a job. Absolutely, yeah. He could get that Prince Pretty Legends contract probably. Uh, wow, Stephen, there are rumors that Ilya Dragunov might be joining Imperium soon. How do you feel about wow. that? Wow. Cool, yeah. Why not have Butch join? Butch, would be um, he's cool. already with the brawling brutes with the jacked guy, the one who killed Biggie. Yeah. Um, Wait, which Biggie? Which Wait, Biggie? Which Biggie did he kill? Oh, you mean Victorious Biggie? Biggie. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand now. Of very course. good, very good. Uh, Steven, that that's that's, that's killer. Um, also, Imperium is apparently working with Paul Heyman now in storyline, so maybe there's an Imperium That's bloodline cool. feud soon. That could I like be cool. how JD McDonald might join the Judgment Day, so we finally JD learned McDonald. what JD stands for. It's pretty what, cool. What does JD stand for? Oh, fuck! Judgment Day. Jordan Devlin! What? Oh. Uh, oh. No. Oh. Why would it stand for his full name? Yeah, my bad. Might be, might be, might be. Judgment Day makes a lot of sense. Honestly, I think his name kind of upgraded. JD, I feel like JD's way Jordan more Devlin. Than Jordan. Devlin sounds like it, it's Devlin's cool. innuendo Devlin's for cool. shit. No, it's it sounds Devlin's like cool. Devlin's cool. Devlin's no, cool. No, Devlin sounds like shit. It like literally, like not like it sounds bad. It sounds like innuendo like for for human feces. Yeah. Taking a Devlin right now. Yeah, exactly. It sounds way too natural to say taking a Devlin. Okay. I think JD Devlin sounds like a cool name. JD Devlin. JD Devlin. JD McDonald. JD Devlin. JD McDonald is so Devlin. stupid though, I kind of love it, you know? No, that name is like catchy, you know? You just say it, and like, oh, that's funny. I would say I JD think. Devlin's more catchy. Really? Like, it just rolls off the tongue. McDonald. JD Devlin. McDonald. JD McDonald. <laughs> Donald. McDonald. What the fuck? Most people can't McDonald. pronounce McDonald, you know? He's feuding with Dolph Ziggler. Oh, that's shit. good for him. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, Steven, I was watching a Chris Van Vliet interview the other day. And actually wasn't. I was watching a clip of an interview that he did. And it was with L.A. Knight, okay? And it was in this interview um, that L.A. Knight was just, like, talking about how people confuse him sometimes for The Rock because they have the same exact voice. And it wasn't until mm. that exact moment listening, I was like, holy fucking shit. They do sound identical. Have you ever noticed this? Yeah. You have. It's the big meme. That's what Is people it call the big meme? Off of The Rock. Aw. Well, no, not like yeah. his character. I mean, like his actual voice. Yeah, exactly. Like, That's not why. put on. Because he talks exactly like, like The it. Rock. Even in character. So, and in character, even yeah. sounds more like The Rock. Yeah. Uh, really? Oh, well. I don't know. I handsome feel like man, in character, though. he sounds a little different. But Very handsome man. Very incredibly handsome. Incredibly handsome. Um, and then, otherwise, Steven, the only other bit of news I have before we get to the, the, the results that we have written down from Double oh, or Nothing goodness. this weekend is the fact that Jamie Hayter is a little bit banged up, injured, going into her match this Saturday against Tony Storm. So, wow. um, shouts out to TK for having his talent work through it. Uh, I love Good it. Good for him. Good for them. Absolutely. So, Steven, it's time for AEW Double or Nothing 2022. Do you have the notes from TK ready? No, I do not. What the fuck? Why not? I have the United Champions notes, but I forget that paper was happening, so I left it at my workplace. No, sorry, that's so sad. Is Night of Champions really happening this weekend? I think it's. Oh, like I guess they're Sunday. all in Saudi. That sucks. I don't want to yeah. watch that. Um, well, well you then. don't want to watch Roman Reigns and Sola Sokoa versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. No. 
Uh, Steven, what I really want to watch... Fucking crazy, okay? Is... Night of Champions, every champion's getting their titles on the line, except what? for the champion in oh, the company. That's tough. I don't know how that's it works. That's a little unfortunate. Um, wait, are we crowning the international champion or whatever the fuck? The world champion? Yeah. Yeah. Who's fighting? It's Seth Steph versus who? And Egg... Edge? Allen? Allen Styles? Wait, is it AJ or is it Edge? It's Allen. It's Allen. It's AJ. Isn't AJ injured? No. Oh. I hope AJ you wins. You don't watch the cool. product and you, and you like criticize it, you know? Messed up. What? Messed up, dude. Messed up of you. I mean, listen, I'm a tried and true raw guy. Okay, any yeah. raw results yeah. you want, I got you. I love that three hours. It's my favorite three hours of the week. Smackdown <laughs> is just too shit. I don't watch that yeah. garbage. Okay, I'm absolutely. Above that. The, the, mission, pro the biggest problem with SmackDown mission, for me, really? not enough wrestling on a Friday night, okay? Mm -hmm. um, just, yeah, I need hour. more. Yeah. SmackDown and Rampage just doesn't do it for me. Um, no, you need Collision I, now? I, who the fuck's gonna watch Collision? It's Saturday night. Who the fuck is watching wrestling on Saturday night, you know? Also, isn't it gonna fuck with the pay-per-views? Like, who's gonna, like, I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, huh? W will they cancel Collision that week, or like... They'll probably just do pay-per-views on Sundays now, which kind of sucks. There's too I many don't like Sunday pay shows. How do you get three shows? I don't, I don't know. I don't know either. No, they have man. four shows now, don't they? With like Ring of Honor? I don't fucking know, bro. I know Bruh. that AW Double or Nothing, their their show is starting out with a banger, Steven. The their show is starting out with the Hardy Party versus the Firm. And we all wow. know who the firm consists of. It's Gender Mahal. No, 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 gender is still in, gainfully employed by World Wrestling Entertainment um, and Shit. Endeavor Media. Um, I don't think so for consists, longer, any longer, I don't know. The firm consists of Ethan Page, Big Bill, and Lee Moriarty. I like, I know one name from that list, you said. I unironically love Big Bill. Like, mm. I think he's awesome. Uh, mm-hmm. That's the one name you know, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. You don't know Ethan Page? I don't know Ethan Page. He's the TNA guy, right? Uh, oh, yeah. He was like in the North with Josh Alexander. You're so right. Yeah, I um, know. And they're fighting the Hardy Party. Steven, can you name the three members of the Hardy Party? Um, Private Party. Private Party no. 2. Which, who mm, is? Matt Hardy. No, Matt Hardy is Hardy Brother 2, not I, Private Isaac Party 2. Isaac woods that's his name I, no his, his name is brother zay of course oh of course of course is he a brother um, or he is a brother or is that his, his new name, gimmick brother. is that he do you know his new gimmick steven isaiah cassidy no. he no. moans he he makes sex oh. noises during matches no it's not oh, a joke his his, his, his the... gimmick is that he, he moans a lot just like the thing for aw a little bit, because you're talking about Daddy Magic with his nipples, and yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and Matt Hardy just calls Br Isaiah Cassidy orgasmic now. Orgasmic Brothers mm. Day. So I love Jeff Hardy's, Hardy's return. Cleaned, or... Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't, mm. Maybe we get rid of Matt, we keep Jeff around. Who's to say? The one that matters, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who, 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 how did this match, how's this match going down, Steven, between the Hardy party um, and the firm? Um, it actually never happened. Um, one of oh. the members of Private Party got fucked, I guess, the night before in a scooter accident on, like, one of those free no. birds or, like, whatever they're called, lift birds or whatever. It like, was Mark, scooters. the one who's already injured, it was Mark Quinn. He just got really, like, worse injured. <laughs> He's like, and yeah. So they had to visit like, him oh, in the fuck, hospital. Can't do this anymore. So instead, um, they had Big Bill cut a 20-minute promo <laughs> about why he hates Isaiah Cassidy. <laughs> it was awesome. This is my life promo. That's what he cut, all right? He, he went from birth Absolutely. to the bus incident. To Total Divas, where he touched uh -huh. Carmella's feet. That was an episode. Whoa. I remember that one. Yeah, I'm um, sure you do, man. And then um, and then his AEW promo to that moment where he recites the promo again for part of the 20 minutes uh -huh. of the life of Big Bill. Wow, the life of Big Bill it would be pretty an good. amazing TV show. Oh, my God. Pretty good. Um, I like the part where he started crying around the, the Carmella part. That, that was yeah, fun. Yeah, that was a little And then, tough. like... He was like, Corey Graves, I know, like, you're a good man, but I just can't accept you as an individual, you know? 
uh -huh. pregnant. He did Carmella. start shooting on Corey Graves at one point. Was, and it was a little rough. It was a little rough. I, um, you invited me on your follow... podcast once, and I, uh, yeah. We Pretty followed cool. that 20 minute promo opener uh, with a very quick matchup, Steven. This is a squash by all indications. It's the TBS, the reigning TBS women's champion. Uh, I believe she's 59 and 0. Hmm? The pre show? I don't know. Oh. I don't know if this is pre show or not. Uh, we have the TK didn't cards? tell me yet. You know, maybe this is reverse oh. order. Maybe the firm and the Hardy Party is the main event, and this is the semi main. You know, <laughs> good to event, say. You know? Yeah, the <laughs> 20 minute pro main event. <laughs> I <laughs> forgot the match isn't happening. It's just Hell Big yeah. Bill for 20 minutes as the main. <laughs> like it's <laughs> awesome. Big Bill, shit, our guys can't uh, do something right now. We heard you were really good on Enzo, right? You, you were good. You and Enzo were really good on the promos, yeah, right? You're, Big you're Bill? a promo guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. got this. Oh, uh, Corey Graves. <laughs> uh. I hate how you. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Jade Cargill is fighting Taya Valkyrie for the TBS championship. If Ta if Jade wins, she's 60 and 0 in AEW. Um, I remember JR had said, "Hey, we need her to be 69 and 0 and then she can lose it." I don't JR know why said he said that. that. I don't know. Maybe it was like an uh, maybe they forgot to cut his mic or something, you know? And that's why this match yeah. was going in Taya's favor. Taya was about to squash Jade until Jim Ross made the run in on his bird scooter. Um and just started beating the shit out of Taya. Um <laughs> like with a sledgehammer. Maybe he was having like um, PTSD to the dogs or something. I, I don't know. That's man. exactly what it was. Absolutely. The, the puppies. The puppy like was... quality of Taya just drew it out of him again. I just wanted um, to what did he do? Did he bag the dogs and beat them, or or what? <laughs> I he didn't go into that much detail. It was more left to the imagination, but I imagine that is what happened. Um, but he ended up dragging Jade's lifeless body on top of the just she's been murdered. Ty has been beat to death with a sledgehammer. Um, Jade wins, retains her title, sixty and zero. Shouts out to Jim Ross. Boom boom. Uh, nice, Steven. Can you give me a, a scene for scene, move for move breakdown of this next match? It's a 21 man blackjack battle royal for the international championship. Orange Cassidy is the champion. Hang on, let me look up the eight of your Ross Row quick. Okay, <laughs> okay, hang good, on. Good, good, One good. second here. <laughs> Which, by the way, Swerve versus Keith Lee was canceled, and both men were added to this match. So. What? Good for them. Mm hmm. Like that's Why? shoot. That's Did not... they run out of space? Did we really need fucking the firm versus Matt Hardy? You mean Big Bill cutting a promo for twenty minutes? Yes, we did need that. Okay, we got to send the whole fans home happy. Okay. Are those TNT champion right now? I did not know that. Like, actually, what? Yeah. Wow, Aaron Solo comes out right. <laughs> he, like he is actually confirmed for the match. So shouts out. <laughs> and the next was Action Andrade, right? And yeah, that's Andrade's big return. <laughs> He's teaming up with Action and Dreddy. Very cool. And the next was Adam Cole. That was that was pretty cool. Oh wow, he's double booked tonight. And cool. the next is Adam Page. That was also, also double sick. booked tonight. Okay. And the next is Alex Reynolds of the Dark Wow. Order. Okay. He's 7547. What the fuck? Wow, who who is the blackjack in this one? Was it Leo um, Rush Andrade again? Andrade El Idolo. Oh shit. Of okay. Making uh -huh. his big return. And then next was Angelico. Okay. Good, right? good, good. Love him. And the next after that is um Angelo My Parker, pretty of boy course. pervert. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then after that is Anthony Bowens, one half of the, the team. DX. <laughs> noticing you know a them, theme right? in this match, um, Steven. I'm, I'm noticing a theme. Mean? And then um, next was Anthony Agogo. That oh, wow. That was pretty cool. I've missed you know, him. He's 21-1, which is fucking insane. He was the second Blackjack. Um, yes. In this match, very and cool. The next is Ar Fox, of course. Wow. Right. The third. The next that was. <laughs> Sorry. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of cards in this deck. Okay. Uh huh. Right. Uh huh. Ari Davari is next, right? Part of the Truth Busters, okay. of course. The leader. Oh yeah. Some might say. Uh -huh. I don't know if that's true or not. Can't wait for that big Trust Buster Truth Buster feud. And then after that, That'll Austin Gun comes out, right? Wow. And then we get to the B part of the deck, you know. Okay, With yeah. Bandito coming out next. Wow, I'm surprised he okay. wasn't booked on that Ring of Honor supercar. <laughs> Why wasn't he? What the fuck? Well, he was too busy preparing for the 21-man battle royal. Right. And then 
And then, of course, the guys backstage saw Big Bill doing that epic promo. I was like, oh, shit, you're winning this fucking next match. Fuck everything else. Oh, yeah, go get in there. They Bill called an audible. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, Billy Gunn comes out, just starts squashing on the fucking dudes because they're like half his height. The, the ring was cleared, actually. It's just down to Billy Gunn and Big Bill at this point. The right. two tallest then, men in AEW. And then, actually, you're wrong, because there's a 20-man match. We've only named 15 men so far. Because Wait, Max no, is it's Blade. It's, isn't, it like the, isn't it like the Royal Rumble where, like, one comes out at a time? Yes. Oh, okay. And the next is Blade. <laughs> you know Blade, right? From the yeah. Butcher and him. <laughs> He of comes course. out. He was pretty sick. Fucking pyros come out of everywhere. Fireworks in the stadium, you know? Fuck yeah. Crowd went wild for this shit. It was awesome. Me too. And then Brandon Cutler comes out, right? Yay. And gets... He just fucking eliminates Billy Gunn. Have you seen somehow. his beard recently? No. He has a long ass... Like a Bray Wyatt beard, Brandon Cutler. What? Yeah, I like the crazy. part during this match, though, after eliminating Billy Gunn when he got on the mic and shot on CM Punk for, like, a good two minutes. <laughs> Until yeah. the next Brian man Cage. came out. Brian Cage oh. returns? Oh, that I thought was it was Ace Steel. Um, no. Um, because <laughs> Ace actually... Steel enters this match remotely. <laughs> <laughs> He's in calls in. <laughs> on the Titan Tron. How does he get eliminated? Uh, Fuck, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> um, and then finally, the last man of the the twenty man match, Brian oh, Coleman shit. Jr. Of course. Um, I thought it was gonna be Brian Alvarez. Shit. No. This no. No. Sucks. Because um, then the blade just beats everybody. Um, with his finisher, the blade, b blade. And then he gets on the mic and starts a promo battle with Ace Steel, the other remaining man in the Battle Royal. <laughs> Ace, um, you're too much of a pussy to be in this ring with me, the blade. And then Ace like. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm moving over there right now. And it, it cuts to like a, a video of him walking to the airport. <laughs> so that was cool. Oh, was good, I couldn't make good, it through TSA, good... so it was ruled in Blade's favor. Um, yeah. Shouts um, out. He brought a gun with him to the airport, to be clear. Um, did a steal. Yeah. So, shouts out to Blade. He made a joke about it. He made a joke being like, you touching my arms? This is my guns, you know. Oh, and Blade's like, dude, shit. what the fuck he's saying that way? Yeah. Poor TSA lady. Uh huh. That was that was the the match. Pretty cool. It's pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Shouts out to those twenty one men. It's crazy how they caught an auto ball just for them to remove the auto ball. Big Bill, <laughs> you know. Poor Big Bill. Plans are changing every night. Oh, no, Blade went in the business for himself. He's a big Carmella guy. Okay. He couldn't stand no, Bill for just it. Just slipped and fell. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> he ruined his spot. How Damn. was Bandito 2 4 and 3 6? That's kind of wild. Um, well, Steven, the next match on the card is for the Tag Team Championships. It's FTR versus Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett with special guest referee Jay Briscoe. Um, is that real? Yes, it is. Uh, what? Why so, is Jay Briscoe the ref? No, I. I well. Wait, sorry, it's Mark Briscoe. Did I say Jay Briscoe? Jay, it would yeah, be impossible he's... for Jay Briscoe to be the ref. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> um, Mark Briscoe Anyways. is the referee. Uh, this match never ends because of that. It was really weird. <laughs> the <ref> um. <laughs> yeah, this is, is a little tough. Um, yeah, I. Is, what, what do they do instead? The um, Karen Jarrett was she there? Was Karen Jarrett there? Is she listed? Is she booked? Um, our boy Brock Anderson came out. You know oh, him, fuck. right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Brock, you doing anything? He was there to no. neutralize the influence of Satnam Singh, of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> Good for Brock, man. Really yeah. going up the card, you know? Doing Absolutely. what he does best. Uh-huh. I like when he, he hit the spine buster on Satnam, but tweaked his back in the process. Um, mm, of course. And just, yeah. Fell down on the right, outside, immobile, um, paralyzed for the rest of his life, actually, is Brock Anderson, um, which oh is my. regretful to say. But finally, oh. Aubrey Edwards is here to officiate the match. Oh, um, my goodness. They call an audible. Aubrey's here. Um, and <laughs> Crowd went wild for her. It was insane. They, they didn't really. stop chanting for Aubrey the entire match is the thing. Um, mm -hmm. It was really distracting. Jeff Jarrett got the win clean in about five minutes over FTR Bald. Uh... Good match, very good match. Uh, so, 
Steven, Long next up we have a... And his uh -huh. Bret Hart socks. I was like, oh man, I really hate this match. You know, like, like I don't want to quit this company. I'm being treated unfairly. Mm -hmm. um, the company is really bad for my mental health right now. Absolutely, um, you absolutely. You can hear more about it on my podcast, the FTR Bald Podcast. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Steven, next up is a ladder match for the TNT Championship. The reigning TNT champion is Wardlow, and he is fighting Christian for some reason. Did you see that one and promo he did about, like, was it Anderson's son? He's like, you hated your son, so you went for Wardlow instead. And apparently his son's, like, actually dead, or, like, one of his sons. So, so Christian, like, made his... son is dead? No, Anderson's son. Brock Anderson. Anderson's son is dead? No! Yeah, it's crazy. This is so sad. It's crazy. You couldn't bring this like up Christian. after he's been paralyzed. Mm -hmm. um, then Christian is like, Wardlow, I wish your dad was dead. But he's not dead. I wish oh, death no. upon him. And then this midway to the show, a good gimmick Christian has. Just bring up midway real life deceased family. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. And, and then on midway to the show, um, you hear a call from G from Excalibur. He's like, "Oh shit, what? What? Don't don't say this. AW, this is not. This is for real. Crowd, we are sadly here to announce that Warlow's dad." has been deceased he's passed away oh shit it's like one of the like in big brother whenever one of their like family members die they call them into the diary room and they like cry by yeah. them they call warlow Wardlo out of the match <laughs> they bring him backstage to tell him was <laughs> pinning christian during this of course right until the ref uh -huh. stops the count it's like warlow yeah you gotta go backstage now man like yeah we gotta go feel me crying right um, yeah and i was like oh what fuck what okay what, what happened warlow says and Wardlow walks backstage, and Christian's there, just in the ring, um, really confused because you know he's he's nothing. He knows nothing about the segment. Well, this is a shoot, you know. This doesn't happen yeah. in the world of fake wrestling. Yeah. Um. Then they cut, to, we cut to the really backstage. Weird. Oh, okay. Picture yeah. in picture, you see Wardlow's yeah, reaction Jack to Jack finding Jack out Jack his dad is dead. You know, it was weird. <laughs> you was see really Wardlow weird. crying on a tiny screen in the corner. <laughs> With DraftKings, you can become the next millionaire. You can get one thousand dollars in cash prize awards. Uh -huh. that, that's what it, that's what the ad was. We cut back from the ad. Picture and picture's over. Christian's on top of the ladder. Wardlow's still backstage. I don't know why Wardlow is pinning him before he got called back. Um, but Christian's <laughs> up there and he retrieves the belt. Christian's won. Um, yeah, hooray! You know so, he's zero one right now in his AW career. Yo, good for Christian. He has Christian. a TNT title shot. Hell yeah! Over I our boy, Christian fought. Over, over the guy who is um seven two, Colton Gunn. Oh, come on, shit, that's badass, come on. man. Um, next up, Jamie Hader versus Tony Storm for the women's title. T Tony Storm is of course a fully bodied, fully abled, whereas Jamie Hader is injured heading into this match. Um, um they don't stray away happening? from it. Injured. Jamie Hader um, comes out in a full body cast and is wheeled to the ring. Um, somehow she wins, you know? It's kind of crazy. She did a. She used her wheelchair as a weapon, ran over Tony Storm's shoes. Yeah, it was, was all a work. Up. Like like that gif of, of was it Kevin Nash standing up out of his out of his wheelchair? <laughs> it was like that. It was pretty fucking yeah. badass. And whooped Tony it's Storm's kinda, ass. Kinda Not even the same weird. Lead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. So shouts out to Jamie Hader for working weird all of us. match, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not too certain either. Uh, you you know how Christian's thing when he first showed up in AEW, his shirt said "Outwork Everyone." Hmm. This is. Have you seen out? This is no. out. 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 Mark everyone. That no, was the what, new shirt. what it what it says now is work. I worked everyone. That's not I even like a Christian's joke. gimmick, you know? I don't like his merch. Yeah, it's a little tough. Um, but next up, Steven, uh, there's a bit of debate right now. Like, there's some question marks uh, I see here in TK's notes about what's going to be the actual main event. Um, but this is one of the options. It's the Elite versus the Blackpool Combat Club. Um, Anarchy. The Blackpool Combat Club. No one in their team is from Blackpool anymore. Fuck. 
this is gonna go just like that that promo with Shawn Michaels calling out Kofi Kingston. That's what this is gonna be. <laughs> the elite they call out Blackpool accident. Combat Club. They lose their mojo during the match. They're really sad. Well, they call it the Combat Club. Blade. That's boring. Yeah, that is kind of fucking lame. Um, it's anarchy in the arena though. It's a tag multi man tag match. Falls count anywhere or some wow. shit. I don't really remember how these Danger matches match, end. Dude. I like the part where Uter Uterus Wheeler. He was like really jack now or something hell Beats shit yeah. out like nick jackson he starts blading on nick jackson nick jackson amputates his leg off or something that was i did that like was that cool. part mm -hmm. yeah it's kind of metal mm -hmm. i like um, don Callis's interference in this match uh after he turned on kenny omega a couple weeks ago um you know it was kind of badass uh do you remember what he did steven um he got an ice cream cone and threw it at kenny omega that was fun. Steven, they, they was, just didn't. Cool. When I was at AEW last week, they did an ice cream spot. Like, Why? for real. They, they had Chris Jericho shove ice cream into Project Strong's face. Um, what? It, yeah. Don Cal's is that not worse than, spots. like, is that worse or the same equivalent of, like, Tony Storm getting cake shoved in her face twice? Good question. It's a very, it's, it's, it's humiliating is the thing, Steven. Mm. Um. So, and that's what Don Callis set out to do. He threw ice cream at Kenny Omega. Um, and that's yeah. messed up. And that's not okay. Um, in fact, the Blackpool Combat Club, as much as they, they love beating up people, they don't stand for disrespect like that. So they did a four-man gang beatdown on Don Callis in the middle of the match. Um, and by the time they were done, the Elite were fully recovered. Um, wow. Don Callis may be deceased as well. The Batpool Combat Club really fucked him up bad, Steven. It's kind of it's kind of messed up. Wheeler Yuta slit his throat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you did not have blade properly, you know, poor guy. <laughs> John Moxley made the blade and not Chris Jericho, so they really got fucked. It's so oh, sad. Man, it was a knife. It's like the size of a knife, dude. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was really it's unfortunate. Um, uh, yeah, who won that match? Blackpool or Elite? Um, Michael Nakazawa. Oh shit! Know, he came out. Know, he came out. He joined the combat club. Oh shit! That's yeah. awesome. Damn. I know. Okay, I'm kind of down with that. Absolutely. Um, next Good up, Steven. Again, potential main event of the night. We're not too sure yet. It's for the AEW Championship. Okay, it's a four way. It's the four pillars of AEW. It's MJF. It's Darby Allen. It's Sumi Guevara. And it's Jungle Boy Jack Perry. Who walks out AEW champion? Um, Jungle Boy. Oh. He does his finisher, the jungler. Uh-huh. Right? And he's like, shout out to my mom. Kisses the crowd. Aww. Does a 450 into a phoenix splash into a reverse shit. double moonsault oh my god that was kind of crazy on uh -huh. on mgf mgf just fucking explodes in the spot you know because oh, it's no. so awesome uh-huh i don't i don't know how this happened to be honest like watching yeah. it kind of made me like cry Aww, tears because you watch the man life. really die you watch mjf die <laughs> I watched this um, beautiful gymnastic maneuver from Jungle Boy. Oh, it and was a, great a, a real death that. on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's know, the it's kind of crazy. There. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the high Mixed and the emotions. low. It's the beautiful and, and the. Then, and then for some reason, Nick Comorado comes out. Oh my to god! To celebrate with Jungle Boy. I don't know why. Yeah. He just was. Mm -hmm. But then Luchasaurus yeah. came out with Blake Christian on his shoulders. The new what? Jungle Boy. <gasps> and we already like, have our next world title feud set up. <laughs> it's Blake Christian and Jungle Boy. <laughs> no. Damn. And then Jungle Boy does the, the evolution dumbs down thing to Blake Christian. And, and then I forget what happens. He drops kicks him or something. It's cool. Where, where's Yeah, Miro, they dropped the kick way? Luchasaurus out of the ring. Um, Blake Christian fell off his shoulders and landed on his neck. We're praying he's, he's okay. Injured. Um, we're Hopefully. really Hopefully doesn't praying. get mirrored or something, you know? Yeah, thoughts and prayers. Um, but now, Steven, the lights go out, and it's time for the unsanctioned match that's going on oh, last. No. Not our main event. This match is unsanctioned by AEW. Um, it is Chris Jericho 
versus Adam Cole, baby. Um, like and the part where Parker Budreix was in the match. That was really Parker cool. Parker Boudreaux came out. Okay. Yeah. I'm surprised he wasn't in the 20-man battle royal, but I guess that's what happens when you have a P um, in the start of your name. It takes a while. <laughs> So yeah, it has to be like a fifty man one, you know. It has, no, it has to be like a two hundred man one. <laughs> so Dude, I'm, I'm on the AW side right now. They have like fucking Brody Lee still there. Fucking oh, crazy. Shit. I mean, that'd be yeah. weird to take him off, but put him in like the legend. And his section. son. Oh, negative one. Let's go. Speaking of his son, negative one was involved in this unsanctioned match, which is kind of cool. Um, wow. He got hit by the like Judas effect. Um, oh. <laughs> Got murdered Dropped the chainsaw. Kid. Yeah, that's what happens when you sad. betray AW for the bad guys, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is actually it actually brought Adam Cole and Chris Jericho together um, when they double teamed. Negative. Like they realized one. that child beating was so much cooler than their shitty rivalry over his girlfriend getting beat up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then. Tony Khan loved it so much, he had his his, his merch team like express print t-shirts of negative one with a black eye and bloody face. And then Adam mm -hmm. Cole and Chris Jericho put them on in the middle of the ring. Um, and I think this really is like unfortunate. a kind of uniting of the two of them. Um, yeah. Chris Jericho and so Adam I guess Cole. We have, I guess we have a new member of the Jericho Appreciation Society. Oh my gosh. With, um, Adam Cole now. Because uh, then he laid Kinda. down for Jericho and just Jericho got the pin. One, Finger poked him of doom, you know, mm -hmm. to his dick. That was pretty cool. Wow. And I know. Big Bill came out, of course, at the end of the night, just again to send the crowd home happy. Um yeah. he sang that that song uh that that fucking the big boy over in, in Europe did. I already forgot his name. That boxer. Wait, Pack is zero one right now. What the fuck? Pack is 0 and one in twenty twenty three. Let's yeah. go. Fuck yeah. Um Who do you lose to? Probably Big Bill. Is my How guess. do you have, like, one match ever oh, this year? It's, it's probably, like, over in the UK, man. Not doing shit. A, oh. El Triangulo de la Muerte, you know? They're not as active as they once were. Penta's too busy beating up people over in, in Ring of Honor, you know? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a pay-per-view. Weird, weird way to end it, you know? On a, on a good note. With child beating. No, they ended it with Big Bill, remember? They sent everyone home happy. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're yeah. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Weird episode. Um, I don't know. Really weird pay-per-view. I don't know. Yeah. I thought it was kind of killer. I love the international yeah. title match, at least personally. Um, mm. So I hope Don Callis is okay. Hope Negative One's okay. Those spots look nasty. Um, but, you know. Scorpentino? Scorpentico is 14, 120. What? That's his career um, record in AEW. He's is won 14... 400 times? No, he's lost 120 times and has won Aww. 14 times. Poor boy, poor boy. He's gonna get a win over Claudio probably, um, so that's yeah. exciting. Or I guess he got a win over Claudio probably. So awesome. yeah, I don't know. TK is known for kind of changing the card last minute, so we'll see um, how much of this actually comes to fruition. I'm just hoping and praying that uh, Blake Christian uh, gets that main event spot. You know, this sounds um, like an awesome pay per view. It was an awesome pay per view, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. Um, a bunch of new champions. So Steven. Mm -hmm. Do you have one? The fuck is Trench? That's a Twenty One Pilots album from twenty eighteen. Um, but he's do you in have... the Mogul Affiliates. That's kind of cool. Maybe it's Parker's new name, um, Steven. Maybe. Do you have one last little piece of business you want to wrap up before we end this episode um, of Following Lucha? No, because I'm really um, what's it called? Hungry for some See? pancakes right now. Oh. Yeah, okay. save for the next the next week podcast for the segment. Yeah, guys, if you were tuning in for the pro wrestling versus anime segment, get fucked. It's not even we already versus, talked about anime or... with Omas. Get fucked. Dumbass. I don't you even give know, a you shit. Know the name of the segment. You didn't know the segments we've been doing for 60 weeks, so eat my ass, okay? Exactly. Exactly. That's Listen. the episode. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah. Tune in to Double or Nothing from a couple days ago. I don't know. Goodbye. Watch Night of Champions, I guess. I don't, I don't know.